very match of today is going to be none other than JB versus Gilgamesh. JB, very strong Jackal player and Gilgamesh. Or uh, Anji down player. <laughs> no. the, the representative of Anji, if I might say the ambassador of Anji. Very, very strong uh, American player coming straight from the wonderful Republic of KFC. As you can see, his flag is a KFC flag, <laughs> as you should know. Yay! How are you doing, Shiro san Welcome. Hey, yeah, so let's start the match, and as you can see already, Gilgamesh trying to keep JB in the corner. JB doing his best to try to get out of it. Finds the opening with the 2D, gets a counter hit, and puts some distance between him and Gilgamesh. Manages to get a pretty hefty juggle right there from Gilgamesh, and as you can see, the life of Gilgamesh already melting like butter, and he's going to have to eat an overdrive. Probably not gonna kill because Andre has a lot of guts. Okay, what is gonna be the wake up? I smell a Kachio Fugetsu. No Kachio Fugetsu here. Oh, and here we go with the counter hit. And Gilgamesh gonna get a corner carry. He's got JB right in the corner where he wants them. Very nice Fujin counter hit right there with the confirmed Gilgamesh. Goes for the extension station using a VRC. Ah, he needs to be extra careful right there. He doesn't have any resource. Oh, almost got the hit with the with the butterfly. Unfortunately, you can see cheeky JB resorting to using the jumping D to low profile the butterfly and hit Gilgamesh on his startup frames, resulting into a counter hit into a KL combo. Very nice 2S counter hit right there from Gilgamesh. Manages to get a little bit back the momentum. That being said, JB doing his best to try to put some minions on the corner but on the corner on the on the stage but Gilgamesh preventing him from doing so finally JB manages to get out of the corner manages to anti-air Gilgamesh using the minions here we go with the dance dance you need to dance better Gilgamesh dance as if your life depended on it fortunately for Gilgamesh he got hit uh, by Oh lord, and the grab from JB, and that was, oh, the touch of Fugetsu, but no, too far to do anything, but Gilgamesh using, no, the golden burst, but runs straight into the 5H of JB, but too far for JB to hit, no, Gilgamesh, and he goes for the quick overhead cancel into the RC to bring it back, wow, that back and forth was pretty nice i'm not going to lie i i really thought it could have gone either way for the past for a consecutive 10 seconds but in the end gilgamesh prevailed he is still in it for the first match unfortunately for him he gets juggled left and right by jb making good use of the juggle potential using the minions gilgamesh is really down to the wire health wise oh and unfortunately for him gets entired by the 2k 2d of jb jb up one match to zero definitely not out of the realm of possibilities for gilgamesh to do a comeback so we will have to see how he manages to do so in the meantime here we go on with the second match gilgamesh already uh out of burst but Good for him, he already uh, managed to do the same with JB, forcing him to pop the burst. Very nice close S, couldn't quite get anything out of it, but he did get an entire, but couldn't juggle currently, oh no! No, he tried to go for a grab, but too late for the quick Roman cancel there. And this time around, Gilgamesh trying to get out of the corner, manages to do so by staggering a little bit, JB changing his attack pattern, unfortunately gets again, man, he gets, oh lord! Oh, and he gets the 2S counter hit. He should be able to finish it if he doesn't drop the combo. And he doesn't. Very nice lead on by Gilgamesh. How are you doing, Slan? Welcome. And here we go on to the second round of the second match with Gilgamesh in the lead. Uh, well, at least, uh, at least uh, round-wise. JB is still up one match, so he's currently in the general lead. Gets hit by the 5HS counter hit. You hate to see it. Okay, JB trying to put some distance between him and Gil in order to set their minions on the stage. Unfortunately, gets hit by a counter hit. Fuki over it. You hate to see it. Gilgamesh currently uh, doesn't have the life lead. JB too far to get any, any follow-up from his counter hit right there. This is so unfortunate. Couldn't quite get the punish on the uh, blocked uh, Nagiha either. And Gilgamesh oh, gets hit by the closest, unfortunately. Uh, he wanted to keep his, um, he definitely wanted to keep his burst for this third round just in case gets anti-aired once again by the minion. I do a bit now, servers are making it hard. It is, it is. But it's okay here, we're not affected as much as uh, in the west, I think, when it comes to server uh, stability. So it's actually pretty cool to uh, do tournaments here. 
and Gilgamesh has the corner pressure, trying to open JB up, but JB, no, oh, gets hit by the co-counter, and he is too far to get anything, but still, okay, he's got the pressure, goes for the grab, but JB on point doesn't get it by it, goes for the cross-up, JB gonna get the corner positioning, would rather keep some minions on the corner, uh, on the, oh, and careful there, and he gets JB before his burst gauge fills up, good stuff by Gilgamesh, puts one on the board, Yo, Papaya, how are you doing? Let's go my ex-lover, Angie. Yeah, Papaya, former NG player, very strong NG, by the way. But decided to uh, change to um, to uh, Testament, if I'm correct. And he's very strong. Uh, definitely, he participated to, uh, to uh, tournaments organized by, uh, I do believe, uh, the Korean organization, which I forgot the name. Spirits, I think. But yeah, definitely you should check uh, Papaya out. He is a very strong uh, testament and former Andre player. Definitely, uh, please do so. Korean individual, very, very interesting, very funny as well. That being said, here we go on to the next battle with Gilgamesh. Uh, managed to take the first round of this third match, by the way. So currently officially taking the lead. Ah, uh, he was forced to pop the burst and gets counter hit air to air right there. Fighting spirit. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, fighting spirit. Yeah, it's fighting spirit. Fighting spirit. But he also played in uh, Korea, uh, I think, when uh, Korea was uh, still doing weeklies, which they are not doing anywhere, uh, anymore, which is really unfortunate. I really love Korea tournament. But anyways, there we go. Oh, Gilgamesh tried to do a Kai. Oh, but he's going to get side switched into for Evolution Driver for the kill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, but still, still, still. Still, JB didn't get the uh, wall break, which, which would have uh, resulted into him winning this round directly. Uh, but, oh lord, gets grabbed right there, Gilgamesh, what are you doing? Oh no, Gilgamesh first spot the burst. I get side switched, and Gilgamesh trying to get, oh, the juggle drops it, but well, couldn't quite get it anyways. Here we go with JB again with the minions, man, and it's back to... You have to block land, you hate to see it. Oh, Gilgamesh getting hit left and right. He's in the corner, but gets a dance. Oh, again, he does it back. Oh, no, he tried to go for a fully charged dust. But yeah, JB on point with the uh, blocks and manages to seal the deal with a throne minion. JB taking the lead two to one. It's going back and forth currently with JB in the lead. Let's see how this pans out. We shall see. And on to the next battle. Gilgamesh already forced to pop the burst. Unfortunate for him. Here we go with the Ko. Nobody's home. And the Fujin catches. JB sleeping. Okay, and here we go with the corner pressure. This time around, Gilgamesh baiting the tech attempt. But very nice backdash from JB. Uses the invincibility frames of uh, the back uh, dash in order to get out of the pressure and make the, uh, I do believe it was the 2K of Gilgamesh whip. Uh, but yeah, JB back in the corner! Oh, manages to bait the Kachofu gets uh, uh, Gilgamesh stopped out of this. He gets the ask. Oh no, gets opened by a huge, huge counter hit right there. And this is going to result into Gilgamesh uh, losing this round. But it's still okay. One more round. Gilgamesh needs to find a comeback right now if he wants to see in the winner's bracket. We shall see how this pans out. Oh no, and here we go with the. Ooh, okay. 2p, 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 2p. JB probably wary of Gilgamesh, uh, who was about to burst, yeah, who was about to get the burst first and foremost. Very nice dance right there from Gilgamesh, doesn't get the loop! No loop for Gilgabear! Where's the loop, Gilgabear? Oh, the American loop, no! And Gilgamesh, ah, again, again having to deal with all of these pesky, all of these pesky minions, but it's okay, ah! Gilgamesh goes for the reset. Oh, he gets his backdash, couldn't quite get the juggle, and he goes for the extension station using the RC, gets scooped by the 2D counter hit, and this should potentially do... Oh, and JB takes it with a very nice finishing combo, resulting in two wall splats. Good. Unfortunately, it is a Ramlethal, so uh, yes, I unfortunately do not remember who Yamashita is as a player. I do remember his name though. I do believe he played in previous iterations of the Brojo Cup. So let's see how this pans out this time around. He is facing a, a very, very strong uh, Testament player. So yeah, chances are that it's going to be a little bit hard for him, for them. But you know what? We have lots of upsets here in the Brojo Cup. We had one uh, not uh, later than uh, last Brojo Cup, by the way, where we had a very strong Indonesian um, uh, Zato player 
uh, eliminating none other than Ty, and twice, not just once, but twice, he put him in, he put him in the losers bracket, and then eliminated him in the losers final, uh, semifinals. So extremely strong. Uh, lots of very big upsets in this tournament. Let's see if Yamashita is capable of doing so against a player of the caliber of RX. But just as I say this, we have been struggling to start our match with Ikinona for the past 10 minutes. Uh, even if you go in, uh, in park, can you try to go in the park? Anyways, that being said, let's see how this pans out. And so far, RX definitely having... Oh, getting hit with a counter hit right there by Yamashita. Yamashita trying to find the opening. Using the wreck, uh, ooh, goes for the overhead, but unfortunately at that height, the overhead is not plus on block. He needs to be careful about it. Uh, let me check real quick the brackets. Apparently we have some, uh, some, uh, some issues, technical issues with the Kidona and Sora. Uh, so did you try in the park as well, and it didn't work? Could you try? Could you try to reset both of your, uh, both of your, um, what's it called, your. Um, so your PC and well, not the PC, but the software. Please reset the software and and if possible, if you play on console. And what about him, Ekidona as well? And here we go with the far S for Yamashita to take the kill. Hmm. What about Ekidona? Did he restart as well? And here we go with uh, the curse. RX trying to keep a Yamashita in the corner. I did restart. Okay. Uh. You try it one more time, and if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't work, um, what do you do? I think there's a, um, I don't know, guys. Um, if it doesn't work, uh, you have to, you have to determine who wins and who loses by yourselves. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but there's really no other way. I cannot do it for you guys. Yeah. And here we go with Yamashita actually taking the first freaking match. Holy three rounds. Yes, if uh, Dark Necrosan, if you don't have any uh, instructions from me in your chat, that means that you can start your match without without waiting for my instructions. So yes, uh, normally you should be able to. Where are you, Dark Necro? Dark Necro? Yeah, you can start. You're against... I'm help. Yes, you can start. No worries. Thank you, Dark Necro, for checking out. Uh, and uh, just as I say this, Arx with a FT lead right there using Leo. You're welcome, Dark Negro. Yo, ça va bien, Shala? Ouh, ça fait longtemps, toi. Ouais, toujours en mode Brojo Cup, évidemment, évidemment, toujours. On ne va jamais arrêter, monsieur. <laughs> and that being said, here we go with the corner pressure from Oryx. Going for the 2 just counter. Not counter it, but entire manages to take the first round. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. On to the second round, and Yamasta trying to zone Oryx right there, preventing him from making his approach. And Oryx with the whiff punishes right there. That 2D was beautiful. However, he is forced to pop the burst. Yamashita is out of sorts. Ooh, Oryx closing the gap. Finds the opening. L goes for the standing K. Finds the opening. He's, oh no, he dropped the combo. But it's okay. It's not over till it's over. Tries to go for an air to air. Still manages to hit Yamashita on his way down. Yamashita getting open with the t back turn K and going to lose this one with the wall break. Rx putting one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Now, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Ikidona and Sora are going to uh, find a consensus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's working apparently. They're 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 uh, playing right now. Okay, so this is perfect. This is perfect. That being said, here we go with Yamashita forced to pop the burst, a burst, 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 slash. Yo, Akisei, ça va bien? Comment vas-tu, gros? Ça fait longtemps. Seems like the meta is just have Pocket Leo, USA, and Japan. Well, Leo is pretty strong, not going to lie. We all need a Pocket Leo, exactly. All you need is Leo. Oh, Lord! And Arx with the 2D counter. Hit! Ah, I couldn't quite manage to get any juggle out of it, but it's still okay. He has his burst. He's looking good, but he gets hit by the Rika. That being said, oh, Yamashita again with the... Oh, Lord! Getting hit by the 2K2D. And Arx going straight for the grab. He goes for another grab and the RC extension to get the kill. Rx taking a lead right now. One match and one round to go. Very nicely done though by Yamashita with... Oh, Lord! And wake up DP from Rx. Gets grabbed on his way on the back turn. Yamashita trying to fish for a, uh, a tech, I believe. I'm doing fine, Axelio, and I hope you are as well. And Yamashita with the wreck up pressure. Forces Rx in the corner. Rx getting out of it using the dash. But still in the corner. No, Rx got baited. 
No DP for you, sir! I'm taking this round. This is what Yamashita said, and we are still in the perfect tie right now. Let's see how this spins out. RX trying to get out of the corner. Very nice instant block right now, but gets scooped by the 2 HS counter hit. Yamashita going for the extension station. Oh, he goes for the reset using the overhead. Oh, Lord, and this buy from RX to try to get out of the corner. Gets the 2D counter hit. Tries to get the instant. He does get a 2K, but a little bit too far to get anything out of it. Wow, and the pickup from Yamashita. Oh, no, gets hit on his way to try to... Oh, gets hit on his uh, cross under... Uh, initiated by RX. Here we go with the sword throw. Yamashita, Yamashita, what is he gonna do? He wants to get this one as well, and the golden versus out. And RX, man, RX. Oh no, tries to go for the guard point, but Yamashita on point with it. Okay, RX still a little bit too eager, and now gets scooped, man, with the wreck out. What is gonna happen? Go oh, sword throw. No 2D for you, and he gets the grab. Yeah, wake up. Oh no, wake up. No, wake up, DP. Oh, and he gets, to, he gets Yamashita with the Jack Chirac. Nicely done by RX. Gets the lead 2-1. to one. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie. Brezden Cookie Yamashita in Dire Straits. He needs to win two freaking matches in a row. He wants to stay in the winner's bracket. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? That being said, yeah, Yamashita down a burst already. He's going to have to deal with the back turn pressure. Oh, he's trying to get that anti air. Couldn't quite get it. Oh, Lord. And Yamashita catching the back dash using the 2 HS. He's going to get the juggle. He No, he gets hit by the DP. Wake up. And RX trying to bait something. Perhaps a throw a tech or something. Unfortunately, gets hit by his way down from Yamashita. Oh, no. Couldn't quite get the juggle. Oh, he gets a guard point counter hit. Doesn't get the juggle, though. Oh, it's a war of attrition, but Rx gets the air grab. He goes for the corner pressure, but yeah, my stop pressing buttons right there. Woo! Oh, Lord. Here we go. No, no. No, Rx got hit. Okay, still okay. Yeah, my stop not out of it yet. Oh, and here we go with the air to air. No, he drops it. He drops it. No, he drops it. And he's in the corner now. And no, Yamashita didn't have his second sword to get the extension combo. The kill combo, but he does get the jump encounter. And Yamashita not out of it yet. Good lord. What is happening? Oh, Yamashita with the upsets. Gets the air to air counter hit. Here we go with the corner pressure. Oh, gets the counter hit with the stack pressure right there. Yamashita in prime position to taking this second, this uh, fourth match actually. He gets the Roman cancel extension from his aerial approach. Very nice with punish from Yamashita gets hit though on the third hit of the Reka. Here we go with the golden burst. Rx with this bite. No one's home. And Yamashita using the RC to not get entire bite. Rx, that being said, Yamashita in dire straight right there with his back to the corner. Finds the opening and finally nails it man two freaking matches a piece what is rx gonna do is rx gonna revert to using testament no he goes straight back into it with his pocket leo let's see how this final match unfolds we shall see who gets the honor of staying in the winner's bracket of this tournament we shall see okay and on to the next uh, battle yamashita already down uh, burst wise and rx uh not getting the uh the conversion combo from his 2d counter hit which is quite unfortunate. But that being said, here we go. Rx definitely not out of this yet. Gets hit again by the jump back S from Yamashita. Yeah, and Rx recognizing that the third hit of the Rekka is definitely not safe. If you commit with Ram Lethal to the second hit of the Rekka, you are susceptible to get hit by a reversal option from your opponent. And Rx is definitely making the best out of it. He should get the kill. Yes, he does. On to set point is Rx going to be able to seal the deal we shall see in a couple of seconds here we go the jump in again from Yamashita jump back S has been doing wonders for him the bane of Rx may I say again man with the jump back S man getting rid of the the, the guard point thanks to it again with the Rekas Yamashita going for the extension station gonna get the juggle yes you will get boom I'm throwing big ass sword in your head good stuff from Yamashita goes for the jump in and Rx with the perfect spacing manages to to punish with the 2k on his way down. Oh no! Air to air in favor of Yamashita. Yamashita gonna get the corner pressure. Trying to bait RX to press a button right there. We'll go with the reset of the. Oh no! And the 6p from RX goes for the back turn. Goes for the overhead. 
Yeah, my stuff not out of this yet. He still has a lot of no resources, but... Oh, he's definitely wanting that burst. He wants that burst. He wants it so bad, and he has it. Oh, Lord, and Yamashita using the Calvados, and this should ship out very nice recognition from Yamashita, knowing that Arx didn't have any uh, bar yet in order to use the Faultless Defense in order to uh, live through the Calvados. Finally, Arx getting the uh, conversion using uh, the follow-up conversion from the 2D counter hit. Uh, or he's wanting to keep that corner position. Forced to pop the burst, though. Gonna get hit by the Reka. He's going down to the wires, ladies and gentlemen. Last round from the last match. And Yamashita looking pretty good. Is there going to be an upset right here on the first round of this tournament? Rx already almost down, man. What is gonna happen? Oh, he finds the opening. Gets the oh, gets the optimal combo. Goes for the grab. What is gonna be the wake-up option again? The grab and this no it's not gonna do the wall broke a little bit too early for ice to seal the deal okay what is gonna be the end oh what is gonna happen no we're gonna go with the sword throw here does he and here we go with ice taking it taking it with a very nicely spaced is i feel hagiara rocking actually axel this time around hagiara former jackal player probably decided to uh resort to using axel for this specific uh, mirror match, probably not. Yeah, I can definitely understand. I, I personally hate mirror matches myself, not specifically because um, that it's probably like a, um, you know, when, when you're in the mirror, there's the added uh, stress factor that your opponent is playing the same character as you, and if he defeats you, that means that he plays it, he plays them better than you do. So there's definitely this honor factor that you have when you're playing a, a mirror match. So I can definitely understand why Hagiara might have a pocket character specifically for them mirror matchup, which might be the case right now. And just as you see, Hagira is actually in the uh, current lead. And Axel, definitely not a bad option versus uh, versus Jaco. The main reason being that his um, uh, Lensengeki, Sen hmm? Lensengeki, his uh, Sickle Storm is a very good option to get rid of every single minion on the stage at the same time. So yeah, I can definitely understand the reasoning be behind him wanting to use Axel in this specific matchup. And uh, yeah, and Axel overall very good option when it comes to dealing with most of the um, most of the uh, top tiers of this uh, of this game. But just as I say this, Hagiara in oh dire straight right there gets inspired by caffeine. Caffeine going for the low options, wanting that burst, about to get it. No, uh, it goes for the OTG, not enough to kill, but gets the kill with the Akuma fireball. Oh lord. Caffeine bring it back. He was down. All oh, he he spent most of his time just getting hit during that round, but manages to make the combat very very efficiently. By the way, that being said, Hagiara not out of it yet. Goes for the Lensengeki. Okay, uh, tried to go for the entire, but Caffeine didn't commit to any aerial uh, aerial attack, which made it so that he was able to block on his way down. We go with the counter hit six H. Ah. Uh, Hagiara uh, trying to get that entire goes for the uh, the world to make it safe. Definitely wants. Oh, he got for the world and he got the caffeine going forward and should be able to seal the deal. Good call out right there from Hagiara catching caffeine, dashing forward, which he shouldn't have done. But it's still okay. It's not over till it's over. Caffeine and Hagiara both one round up right now. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with Caffeine going with the Illusion Driver. He's going to do a lot of damage, especially against a character which doesn't have a lot of health and a lot of guts, just like Axel. Oh, he uses the 2D to catch the back dash attempt from Hagiara. Hagiara in really dire straits right there. You can see Caffeine, yeah, going for the quick Roman cancel for the kill. Caffeine up 1 to 0. Is Hagiara going to commit to keeping Axel or maybe changing to Jacko? No, he keeps to his guns. I uh, yeah I, I mean why not maybe he made the uh, the the change totally to to Axel which would be uh, which would be uh, understanding. That being said, we go the sickle storm gets it by the minion the pesky minion. You hate to see it. Unfortunate use of the two HS right there from Hagiara got caught by the two D counter hit of caffeine. Here we go the Lensengeki. Oh lord and the air grab by caffeine beautifully done puts one. Minion on the board, unfortunately gets immediately pulverized by Hagiara and his, uh, his, uh, what's called, his, um, uh, his sniping prowess. And Hagiara takes it with the command grab from Axel. One round up for Hagiara. What is Caffeine going to do? Definitely not totally one-sided. 
I mean, once Caffeine finds his way in, I mean, the, the health of, of Axel just melts away, so... It's totally understandable, it can definitely go both ways, even if Hagera has a life lead. Good thing from Hagera- Oh lord! And Caffeine popping the- <laughs> Popping the Kytex right there, just running from one side of the- One side of the stage to the other and just grabbing his opponent. Hagera going again for the, uh, for the command grab. This time around, Caffeine on point with the back dash not to get hit by it. Oh lord! Okay, here we go with uh, the, the tick pressure from Caffeine. Hagata finds the opening, tries to go for the command grab once again, but Caffeine this time around on point once again. Oh lord, nice call out from Hagata. Goes for the sickle storm, tries to use the 6 HS to catch his opponent. Caffeine with the 2D entire. Oh lord, and the overdrive, unfortunately, yes. The Blocked by Caffeine. Very nicely done. Caffeine went for a save jump, which made it so that he was able to block just in time on his way down. Okay, and Caffeine with two minions on deck already. Hagata getting rid of them both at the same time using the standing P. Very nice sickle storm right there. Lin Sengeki. And again with the Lin Sengeki gets, catches Caffeine on his way down using a minion. Very nice 6 HS, but very nice guard point from Caffeine to get rid of it. But back into neutral. Nice 2 HS. Caffeine resorting to just blocking it, which was the correct answer. Gets the 6 PN. Here we go. Oh, and he managed. Oh, Lord. Not only to get the freaking YRC, but also the freaking burst right after. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Caffeine again on the verge of taking it. Oh no, and Hagata getting hit on his way down. Oh, manages to get the Lensen Geki in. Definitely looking good right now, trying to... Oh, he wanted the burst! He wanted the burst! Okay, here we go with one world. If you get hit once... Oh lord, and no gold burst for you! Oh no! Oh no, what's gonna happen? It's going down to the wire! Is Hagata gonna take it? Lord, now the 6 FP, man! What's gonna happen? Oh lord, it's... Oh, down to the wire! Yeah, you can see it can go both ways. Oh, good lord. No, oh, what's gonna happen? I don't know what to say. Oh, very nice 6 HS. No, he couldn't quite get the juggle. You hate to see it. And he gets hit by the fireball once again. Good lord. Caffeine with the Akuma fireball, man. Keeping them sky protected, man. Holy freaking lord. Good stuff from uh, Caffeine. Up 2-0. This is definitely pain, not going to lie. <laughs> Yeah, Jacko is, is hard to just pin down, man. She has a lot of... Yeah, it's pretty high mobility, if I might say. And the fact that her fireball actually changes her uh, jump arc actually makes it even harder to try to anti her. And uh, yeah, Hagera looking a little bit lost, not going to lie. It's always, It always goes down to the wire, by the way. But yeah, just caffeine just has the upper hand all the time. Hagera still resorting to use. Axel gets hit by the minion. Thankfully for him, Caffeine couldn't quite get the juggle, but gets it with uh, the uh, guard point and manages to get the kill. Very nicely done. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Very nicely done by Caffeine up on set point. He's on the verge of taking it. What is he going to do? What is Hagela going to do? We shall see. Caffeine finally forced about the burst, and Hagela on point with the 6 HS to get rid of the, the minion. Oh no, and the 6P again. Caffeine protecting them sky, man. You cannot jump on this dude, it's crazy. Oh, here we go with the back jump. Yes, and the counter hit. Caffeine is squirting Hagela in the corner. Here we go. With the oh, no, and again, man, with the freaking first base. Very nice back dash, though, from Hagela manages to get the grab, and he gets grabbed himself. The grabber gets grabbed. Oh, Lord, finally, YRC from Hagela gets. Oh, no, he got the water. The fall. Uh, waterfall again. Oh, gets the 2 HS. Should be able to... No! Why? 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 Oh, 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 oh. This is so unfortunate. But good stuff from... On to the next battle. Ikidona versus Mugi. Ikidona from Philippines against Mugi from Japan. A very strong uh, Nagori Yuki player. Made top 8, I do believe, in Arc Revo, if I'm correct. The Japanese version, by the way. So, yes, definitely strong player. Let's see how this spins out. Ikidona... Uh, oops, I think I was called. One second, please. Okay, we're good, we're good. That's ah, fine. Okay, uh, that being said, here we go with uh, the uh, battle and the 
challenge from Ikido and I manages to get out of uh, the... Of course I am against Hagira. Why is that? Ah! <laughs> Are you against uh, Hagira? Why? Every Everyone likes Hagira. Anyways, here we go oh, with the third hit of the red guy and, and Mugi managing to get that burst. You hate to see it. Ikidona in Dire Straits right there has to deal with uh, the Nagoriyuki pressure. Finds the opening though. Cannot get. Oh lord! And he goes for the reset! Oh lord, and here we go with the wire C and the bar from Ikidona. Ikidona actually managing to get this first uh this first match. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the 6P counter hit. Boogie getting the entire ND corner pressure. Ikidona putting his his himself right back in the corner. Right in a close S from Mugi. You hate to see it. Here we go with the clone and Mugi sealing it with the 6 HS. And a perfect, nevertheless. Very nicely done by him. What is gonna be the next one? Oh no, the sledge! Very badly timed sledge, like, you know, like going straight into the closest of Mugi. Mugi already dealing 60% damage right off the bat. But Ikidona not out of it yet. Finds the opening with uh, the mixes. Okay, tries to go for the tick pressure. Mugi with the Abare finds the opening. Okay, and just one second. I was called to uh, the chat, I think. One second. Hmm. Okay, and Mugi taking uh, the first match. Very, very nicely done. Okay, and here we go with uh, the uh, tick pressure from Ikidona. Ah, Mugi finding the opening goes for the bite. And Ikidona going to have to deal with a lot of corner pressure right there. Gets opened by the Beyblade counter hit. Okay, Ikidona fighting his way out of the corner. Finds the opening with a 2k 2d. Goes for an empty low this time around. Finds the opening. Oh lord, and he catches the back dash as well. Again with the reset and very nice reactions right there from Mugi. Go straight for a aerial grab. Roman cancel into Wasude Yuki for big damage. And this should kill. Very nicely done by Nagori Yuki. Hmm. And on to the next battle. Wow, he gets the juggle with the clone. That was crazy. Very nicely done. Just comes again, guys. Here we go with the Wasude Yuki. Okay, and oh, Ikidona finding the opening. Oh, goes, tries to go for the reset. Oh, he goes for the quick cancel overhead. That was sick. Tries to go for the empty low, but Mugi on point. Jumps out of pressure. Gotta get well splatted, though. Okay, Kido not, not out of this yet, but one hit can determine whether or not he is going to survive the next onslaught or not. Get bitten, you hate to see it. Oh, very nice. Oh, Lord. What is going on? Oh, and the take pressure from Ikidona and gets hit by the 2k. You hate to see it, Boogie. Up 2-0. to zero. What is Ikidona going to do? Good Lord. And on to the next battle. And here we go, the juggle by Mugi is gonna get the wall break. Kaboom! Get out of here! No hair here, no hair allowed. Oh lord, and Ikido not trying to make his way in, but fails to find the opening right now. It's really, really hard for him to get in. Here we go, the air to air. Still, Mugi does not get hit by it. Mugi with the checks using the 2k to try to check Ikidona and his, and his dashes forward. Oh no, that was an unfortunate burst! That was an unfortunate person. Mugi gonna get a hell of a lot of mileage thanks to it. It's not gonna kill, is it? I might kill, actually. It is gonna kill. No, it's not. Oh, it is! Good lord! How the damage happened just like this. Mugi is on freaking set point. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Okay, very nice juggle right there from Ikuduna. Finally getting something going on. Gets hit by the clone, though. You hate to see it. Okay, and Mugi trying to invite Ikuduna to press a button. Ikidona not biting, gets hit by the 2HS. 
Very nice grab from Ekidona. Gets the tick pressure. Finds the opening. Ah, very nice lows from Ekidona. Finds the opening. Couldn't quite get... Couldn't uh, be on time with the uh, overdrive, unfortunately, for him. And just, man, just ends up... Oh, no, and again with the burst. This is so unfortunate. And just like this, Moogie takes... Happy Garuja versus, versus Roy. So very, very interesting matchup coming on. Two very strong players of their in the individual characters. So let's see how this pans out. This one I want to see very, very well. And here we go with the jump in by Happy Garuja already getting the counter hit, forcing Roy to pop the burst. And uh, Roy is in, forces Garuja to pop the burst as well. Catches the bag dash with the forest. Okay, probably trying to fish for that wake up DP from Garuja, but it is Roy who actually pops it to get out of the corner. We go to the save jump. Finally, Garuja forced to pop the uh, to pop the the DP. Here we go with the empty uh, the uh, save jump, and Roy going for the up down mix up and gets the kill. Very nicely done by Roy. Very strong first round by him. Let's see how the rest pans out. And. Happy Garuja managing to get the hit with the far HS. Uh, he goes for guard point and Roy, man, landing right atop of it. Here Garuja finds the opening with these Vite. Gonna get the wall break with the Jack Shirak. Wow, and that with punish was sick from Garuja. He's gonna get the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, on who is going to take this final round, we shall see. No entire right there from Roy from uh, Garuja again with the bag dash man. Roy definitely on point with catching them. Bag dashes from Garuja. Garuja again bag dashing in the corner goes for the wake up DP for for the oh deep no and the badly time grab right there from Garuja gets opened by the up down mix up. Okay and again this summer round man Roy finds the opening using. The mix up, it goes for the take pressure and the grab for the kill. Roy manages to take the first match very convincingly. It could go either ways, not going to lie. But uh, for now, Roy definitely showing his expertise of Sol. Shows why he is one of the strongest Sol currently in Japan. There we go. Roy finds the opening, forces Garuja to pop the burst. There we go, trying to keep Garuja at bay using the Gunflame. And Garuja with the freaking challenge right there. 2k2d in block strings. Roy manages to get the grab. Goes for the safe jump. And Garuja again, man, with the... Oh, man, it's a battle of attrition right there. Both players just duking it out with the DPs, man. It's crazy. Oh, and the Vortex gets hit by the 6H, uh, I believe. That is from Garuja. And Garuja finds the opening with the 2k2d. Goes for the reset. Oh, Lord. It's not going to be en enough to kill, right? Oh, it might actually. Oh, it might actually. I lied. Damn, man. Garuja going for the optimization station right there. Good stuff from Garuja. Manages to take the first round of the second match. Again, Garuja getting hit by the bandit bringer though. Okay, very nice patient. Garuja gets the grab. Manages to keep Roy in the corner. Oh, but gets hit by the jumping HS by Roy who gets... A grab in the process. Manages to catch that back dash using the closest. And Roy, man, just freaking running like Kai. It's crazy. Here we go with uh, the dust loops. He's going to get the wall break with the gun flame. What is Garuja going to do? Catches the back dash from Roy using the 4H. Oh, he tries to go for an air grab, but is adequately ticked by Roy. Here we go with the guard point follow up. Garuja trying to push. Roy in the corner, wary of that DP though, as you should, and the guard, guard point again, oh no, and manages to catch the freaking burst from Roy, Roy in dire straits, so actually he could go either way, not going to lie, but that being said, Garuja does have a burst, yeah, he does have it now, very nice take from Roy, Garuja trying to seal the deal, not overextending and no! And the Vortex going underneath the spike. You hate to see it. Well, I like to see it though. The good stuff from Roy, man. Oh, and the tick pressure from Garuja. Trying to go with the side switches. Gets the hit with the follow-up of the guard point. 
of the of the throbbing schlong, as I like to call it. Anyways, here we go. Oh, very nice block from Roy, from, from Garuda. Garuda still in the corner. Gets yeah, open by the bandit revolver. Okay, finally, Garuda forced to pop the burst. Gets back in. Oh no! Oh, and that freaking tick. That freaking shimmy, if I might say it. Very nicely done, Garuda. Al uh, goes for the Jacques Chirac and goes low this time around. He's gonna get the wall break with the Jacques Chirac. Roy on his last legs doesn't have a lot of. Uh, doesn't have a lot of. Oh no! Okay, and here we go, Garuda catching the back dash of Roy using the standing K. We have one round apiece. It is a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Good lord. Could definitely go either way. That being said, we go with the Bandit Bringer once again from Roy. Definitely getting some mileage th thanks to it. Here we go the closest, closest. Ruja popping the burst, uh, popping the DP. With the tick pressure, finally manages to bait that DP. Goes low. Forces Roy to pop the burst. Tries to with punish, but a little bit too late on it. Here we go. Uh, the, the mixes are real. Oh, lord, lord. Okay, Roy being very patient, doesn't want to overextend. Garuja couldn't quite confirm right there on his two on his two kick. Oh, okay, finally Garuja catching. Roy sleeping a little bit right there. Garuja with the optimization station should get it. Yes, he does. With the wall splat and the added uh, hit to get the wall break and the kill. Incidentally, happy Garuja in the lead. Nice instant block. Get back to the neutral and the schlong for the counter hit. We go with uh, Garuja getting into the grab and wake up Roy DP, man. That has been his trademark so far. Oh, very nice quick cancel right there. Couldn't get the confirm though, and Roy uses this opportunity to pop the DP. And here we go with the freaking wild throw in block string. Ah, uh, and Garuja without a burst. What is he gonna do? He would. Oh, with the same jump. Goes for the delayed grab tick and catches Roy pressing buttons and bursting in nowhere. And Garuja taking the lead currently 2-0. Uh, we are going to have to manage to get a bait on the... Uh, wow, and that freaking call out on the jump. Bandit bringer from Roy. That was sick. Good stuff from Garuja against the 4HS counter hit. Ah, uh, but that being said, Roy gets the grab. Uh, goes for a uh, close uh, 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 an HS actually that is strange but that being said we are back in the neutral and Roy getting a little bit cocky right there trying to get the grab trying to uh, resort to using the uh, the Kitek this stuff from Roy for not uh, bursting right upon seeing the counter hit oh and very nice use of the oh of the freaking oh no and the side switch from Garuja gonna get the wall break no he doesn't Oh, almost got the punish on it. Oh, but gets hit by the closest counter hit, man. Very nice back dash from Garuja. And wake up DP from Roy. Goes for the grab again. Is that going to be enough? And the closest catching the back dash for the kill. Roy not out of it yet by any means. Okay, and on to the next round. Roy getting the, wall, the, the, the knockdown. Gets the closest counter hit. Uh, the closest... Catching the back dash, he wants to keep the corner positioning, so didn't resort to breaking the wall. That being said, he is going to break it right here for the added bonus, the positive bonus. Very nice 2S counter hit right there from Garuja again with the 2S man. Oh, and manages to get the wake up DP from Roy. Oh, and the call out on the freaking wake up DP <laughs> using the freaking shield and good stuff from Garuja against the freaking wall. Man. And he goes for the what? What was that? Good lord, the Reese from Garuja, man! That was sick! The freaking Reese! <laughs> Garuja managing to get the win by the freaking craziest reads possible, man! That was sick! And here we go again with the wake up DP from Roy, man! Not afraid! Wake up DP again, man! Roy going completely ham! <laughs> going completely ham! And Garuja answering in due fashion! Roy getting a little bit heated right now. I can sense that he's a little bit annoyed. Not gonna lie. Oh, and you're going the entire... Groot. Assault that doesn't wake up DP. That's sus. Well, as you can see. <laughs> well, about that. <laughs> about that, who's that part? <laughs> Anyways, here we go. 
with freaking Roy, man. Just, oh, Lord, and the DP. The DP from Garuja again. No, no, we can DP this time around for Roy. Goes for the wild throw. Not enough to kill. And my Lord. Garuja going straight for the grab. He goes for the golden burst. This fight. What are you going to do? Quick dust and the tower for the kill. That was an explosive thing. Let's see how this pans out. Both extremely strong with their respective characters. Let's see how this pans out. Is Amato going to show us some sick tech once again with uh, with, uh, with 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 uh, Faust? We shall see. That being said, here we go with Amato already trying to put as many items as possible on the. Oh Lord! Oh, very nice confirms right there from Amato gets the juggle using the mix mix mix, but Dark Necro with the back dashes and little Faust to save the day. Okay, uh, Dark Necro with an oh no, and the counter hit with the follow up of the. Is it gonna kill? No, it's not. And Amato getting the grab with very, very, with much ease, if I might say. <laughs> Good stuff from Amato. Um, getting the uh, command grab on the recovery frames of the backdash of Dark Necro. And Amato with already a lot of items on the screen. Dark Necro looking to catch that that trumpet right away. Yeah, I guess the quick dust, but Amato with the wake up overdrive cancel to get to just use the invincibility frames of it in order to get out of harm's way. Gets the juggle. Oh, he gets the gold burst. He gets the gold burst. Couldn't quite get anything out of it though. Uh, Dark Necro is out of harm's way though. He does have the corner positioning and that back that from Dark Negro. It's not over till it's over. Oh, Lord, what was that? That was so sick. Amato with the quick teleport. RC cancel into the grab for the kill. Amato taking the first freaking round. The first freaking match, actually, not the round. That was sick, man. Good stuff from Amato. I love his freaking power. The guts of this dude, man. The freaking guts of this man. Anyways, here we go with the double Fuku into the command grab by Dark Negro. His trademark tick now he's gonna get a lot of damage right there going straight into the nope into the 6 hs uh, actually keeping his eye ah, this should not do and he goes for the quick roman cancel the quick dust for the kill good stuff from dark necro one up one round but down one match quickly yamato with the lead gonna get the entire close s into the mix 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 juggle and he goes for the command grab resets Let's see, he's gonna put fire to this wig. The wig is on fire. We don't need no water. Just let it freaking burn. Oh no, in the back, that's from Dark Maker, old man. Calling Amato's attempt to command grab him twice in a row. A little bit too much. That being said, Amato again with the command grab. You cannot condition this man. You cannot condition him. And he should be able to take it with uh, the overdrive. Let's see this beautiful Nagoriyuki face. Boom! <laughs> Amato, man, you cannot condition him, man. Good stuff from Amato. Puts one round on the board as well. Oh, and gets the hit with the dive kick. Catches the backdash attempt using the 2k. And Little Faust, man, unfortunately, with Dark Necro, finds a way to get out of the corner using, I suppose, the hit stun from uh, Little Faust that prevented him from getting a command grab by Amato. And Grabbing Amato on his uh, recovery. Wait, ah, oh, look. Oh, here we go. The wake up a burst from Amato trying to get out of the corner. Lord, so many items. What is going on? Amato, man, trying to put chaos, literal chaos on the ground. Oh, look. Oh, here we go. The gold burst. This is bad for Amato, yeah. Gold burst, Dark Necro is never good news for your opponent. Anyways, good stuff from Dark Necro manages to put one on the board. We have a tie. Is he going to be able to continue in this trend and just completely dominate Amato? We shall see. Amato definitely no slouch. The matchup a little bit in his favor too. So it might be possible for him to do some pretty nice thing. Using the 2k, recognizing that Dark Necro likes to backdash a lot. Catching him on his backdash. Very nice far HS counter hit right there from Dark Necro. Manages to uh, bait the gold burst, but a little bit too, yeah, a little bit too slow on uh, the punish phase, but still manages to keep the corner position and get the kill in, um, in um, as a result. We go with the mix, mix, mix. Oh, Lord! Again with the wake up gold burst. 
Ah, yeah, the bomb is here. What is going to happen? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. And the quick freaking duck from Dark Negro. I'll get back to the corner. And Namato catching somebody. Fukioing a little bit too much. And that wig is on fire. We don't need one. Let's smoke. Freaking burn. Good stuff from Namato against the wall break. Oh, no. He tries to go for the quick teleport RC into the, you know, the grab. But unfortunately, Dark Negro was a wee bit too far for it. And the freaking standing H counter, the, the freaking H catching the back dash attempt, and the mix, mix, mix catching the back dashing attempt from Dark Nick or whatever you can do. I can do better. I can do better. Good stuff from Amato, still in it. Oh no, and the baby counter it. Did a lot of damage. Oh, getting her go with Amato, man. Oh lord. And the bomb just catching Dark Necro on his recovery frame. This is going to do a lot of damage, though. Amato forced to pop the burst, but Little Faust is here to play. Oh, and the grab, man. Dark Necro always on freaking point. You cannot test this man's reaction. Dark Necro currently with the life lead with a huge H, the 6 HS counter uh, for the wall break. Oh, and the 2 H for the kill. Dark Necro in the lead. It's definitely very, very close, though. It always goes down to the wire to the last freaking... Uh, to the last round, so Amato definitely not... It's not out of the realm of possibility of for uh, Amato to actually take it, you know? So let's just believe in him! Believe in the power of the Faust! Faust is no loust! Ah, and the air-to-air -air grab attempt from Amato, but Dark Digger on point! Oh lord, no idea! But it's still okay, little Faust was here to extend the pressure. And here we go with the optimization combo! Wow, no! The hell was that? Okay, again with return to the neutral. 5 HS counter it. Uh, and Amato getting out of the corner using the teleport from... Oh no, and the back dash from Dark Negro gets scooped by the bomb. Amato going for the extension? No, actually. Oh! We go to 5 HS. Nope, nobody home. And Amato going for the side switch under. Tries to bait the burst, but Dark Negro probably committed to keeping his burst. For this uh, next round. Okay, nice check right there from Dark Negro. Gets the juggle forces Amato to pop the burst. Oh, Lord, and freaking Amato with the Kitex. Just freaking running from one side of the freaking stage to the other. Oh, no, he tried to backwards. Backwards makes mix to catch Dark Negro trying to run after him, but Dark Negro, man, a little bit too. Oh, wake up, overdrive. Say goodbye to your knees, man. Oh, Lord. Ah, that hurts. That's okay, he does have an Oki, but Dark Nick with the back dash yet again catches Amato of Garden, deals the correct punish for the kill. Okay, on to the final round yet again. This is the uh, this is actually set point. Let's see if Dark Nick can manage to seal the deal or if Amato is gonna be able to bring it back. Amato has the pressure right there, he has a lot of items on deck, tries to get on oh, no, the trumpet, but gets grabbed by Dark Nick Dark Necro using the power of the trumpet to keep the pressure on. Ah, yeah. We're just one hit away from Amato getting completely... Oh, and Little Faust. Little Faust, where are you going? Oh, and that 6P, though. But Amato very nicely done with the back dash. Then, oh, no. Ooh, the jump in low. Little Faust, where are you? Oh, the bump. Oh, very nice stuff from Amato. No, he had it. Amato, he had it. But he catches the back dash with the mix, mix, mix. Oh! <laughs> Good stuff from Amato, staying alive, two matches apiece, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen, now go 5 kids of war crime, it is, I agree, <laughs> Louds for the win, hopefully, ah yeah, but this is a bad start though, <laughs> look at the damage, but well, it's still okay, damage wise, I mean, Naruki can do way worse than that, oh, again, out of the corner, no, still not, Amato trying to get out of the corner, goes for the freaking side switch using the power of the meteors. Ah, and Yamato reading the, uh, the, the, what's it, what's it called, the, um, the... Oh no! Too far to get the command grab though! Oh, and here we go, man, Amato, man! Currently in the lead, gets the 6 speed counter in and gets the kill! Amato on match point! Amato on set point, guys! Holy freaking lord! Are we gonna get enough set right now? That would be sick! That would be freaking sick! Okay, good stuff from Amato, keeping his burst. Wow, that was sick. And Amato with the wake up. Golden burst and the double fuku into the command grab by... 
by Dark Micro. Okay, I'm not really wanting to get this one. Definitely. Oh, very nice for the wait. Oh, thankfully for Amato, he did get the uh, the cavalry to come and save his beautiful butt. Okay, and it's it's item time. Oh, and here we go, Amato, getting the freaking cavalry. He's got the meteors. Goes for the side switch using the freaking power of the. No, he gets it. It's not gonna be enough, but he's gonna get the cavalry to wake up overdrive by dark. This is gonna hit. This is gonna hit. Ah, uh, this is gonna kill. Yes, it is. No, Amato, you had it. You had it. You had it, Amato. No, you hate to see it. Amato had it. We are on set point. The one who takes this one takes it all. Ah, uh, a little bit too far. Ooh. It's okay. Oh, little Faust. Little Faust, save me. Save your father. Oh, and the grab attempt from Dark Negro, man. Getting open left and right. Amato currently with the light lead. Is he going to take it? Oh lord, in the back, that no. Here we go with the lows. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is bad. Okay, finally, I'm out of finding the correct timing to pop the burst. Here we go, the bomb. Oh, he gets the command grab. Okay, it doesn't go for the side switch. He gets that wig on fire, though. Okay, yeah, you can see Amato trying to get his. Oh! Oh, and Amato actually manages to send Dark Negro and the loses. Place to be, guys. And just as I say this, we are on to the next battle. We are currently in the winner semifinal. It's going to be none other than Caffeine versus Happy Garuja. Let's see how this pans out. So Leo versus uh, Jack O. I'm going. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Just one second. Okay, so for the wait, and first round goes to Garuja with a very, 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 uh, very um, nice performance with his Leo. Okay, are there any chips in this uh, bracket? I don't believe there are. Let me check. I'm gonna double check real quick. And uh, no, currently we don't. We have. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you who we have. We have Jacko, Leo, uh, Faust, Nagoriyuki. We have Saul, Testament, another Testament, then unfortunately I do not know uh, which character this player plays. Then we have another Nagoriyuki and a um, Giovanna. So unfortunately no, we don't have any uh, any chip players in this tournament left. You didn't miss it, yo Tiger Pop, how you doing man? I know this Leo, I didn't realize they competed. Yeah, Happy Garuja from uh, Korea, he's a very strong one by the way. He participates to uh, Fighter Spirits which is a uh, bi-weekly tournament, uh, online tournament, organized by a Zeus te team, uh, team, I'm sorry, you know, the Korean player, uh, and from his organization, I think, and um, he, uh, there's a very big pot, yeah, there's a very big pot uh, for this tournament, and lots of very strong players from Asia participate to it, so like uh, Darino, Summit, you know, the, the, the usual, like TY and uh, all, all of the Brady Bunch, <laughs> and uh, this one, actually, Okay, their Twitter page is this, and their Twitch page is uh, this, and they stream on, uh, they do stream on, uh, they do stream on Twitch, yeah. Anyways, back to the tournament. You're welcome, Stutthoser, no problem. Sorry, I just get back and caught the middle. Nah, no worries, no worries, man. Always welcome. 
Also, yeah, but uh, Korea doesn't. Uh, Korea Red doesn't do the tournaments anymore. Or I think, if I'm correct. Korea Red, they also do bi-weekly. They did bi-weeklies, but I think they stopped doing it like recently. They don't do it anymore. So uh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Korea, Korea Red is the one they stopped uh, doing like consistently. They do it sometimes, but it's rather rare. And whereas Spirit Zero, they uh, they do it like consistently bi-weekly, and they have a lot of attendance. Like they have a lot of very very strong players over there all the time. So yeah, definitely because they have a pot. Obviously, uh, when I say a pot, it's a winning pot. By the way, not attempting to. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's um. Uh, it's a very it's a very fun tournament to watch. I don't watch it all the time because I have stuff to do usually on on uh, on uh, what's called on Thursday. But uh, when I do have the time, I do uh, either participate to it or watch it. But I, I don't participate too often because I, I I'm telling you I'm getting my ass kicked like so freaking much when I participate to it. And Garuja is uh, he participates to it like very regularly and he actually does pretty well in it. Made top eight uh, plenty of times. Oh lord, and the juggle from Gaffine, lord, that was great. Anyways, back to the, uh, back to the match, and Happy Garuja currently up two matches to zero, and a wake up overdrive by Caffeine is going to deal a lot of damage, not going to be enough to kill though. And Caffeine going for the save jump setups right there, forcing Garuja to, uh oh, press buttons and get killed in results. Let's see how this pans out though, Garuja definitely still uh, up 2-0, to zero, so it's up to Caffeine to make the comeback. Garuja with the wake up DP, catches the back dash attempt with the 2k. Can, uh, Caffeine out of the corner, but at what cost? Here we go the close, yes, uh, and Garuja warning Caffeine to freaking press the button. Caffeine finding the opportunity to press the correct button though. Gets out of the corner ever so slightly. Goes for the quick BRC. Freaking tech, man. That was sick. And Happy Garuja with the Jacques Chirac into the Iron Bouquet. <laughs> Good damage from Happy Garuja. Gets the life lead. Tries to get the grab. Doesn't pop the burst. And rightfully so. Oh, and the wake up DP yet again by Garuja for the kill. Garuja on match point, on set point actually. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, and Gaffin trying to put some distance between him and Garuja. Again with the wake up DP man, Garuja. Not afraid. Gets the grab. Uh, Gaffin looking a little bit bad. Oh no, and the burst has been baited. Again, man, with Happy Garuja popping the freaking... Oh no, what was that? That was so sick. Garuja and the tech takes it a clean three. Leo. <laughs> We'll get on to the next battle, Amato versus Mugi Amato, man. Actually, freaking working his ass off, man, during this tournament. Actually managed to send Dark Necro in the losers. Uh, uh, this is his second run into a Nagoriyuki player. Let's see if it, it goes as good as it went against Dark Necro. We shall see. Very nice with punish right there from Amato going for the forest into D2S. But unfortunately forced to pop the burst, but does get the head. Gonna get the explosion and the command grab that ensues. And here we go with the wig. The wig is on fire. We don't need the water. Let it burn. And we're gonna get the wall break, Amato. On the verge of taking it. Oh, but that 6 speed round start, man. Moog, you're not afraid. Almost got the... Oh, he's got the conversion station. And he goes for the freaking command grab. But that was a battle of RC right there at the end, and Amato prevailed because he had more. Very nicely done by Amato. But Mugi definitely not out of it yet. Gets the freaking the 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 Beyblade for the juggle into the wall break for positive bonus time. Get a nice check from Amato, but gets checked himself by six feet. Closest counter it for the kill. Yes, it is. I foreseen it. <laughs> Good stuff from Mugi gets the kill. Get okay, one round apiece. Definitely not out of this yet for either participants. Very nice backdash from Mugi not to get hit by the weight. And here we go to close. S. Unfortunately, Amato didn't confirm. That would have been good for him. But oh, here we go to 2S, 2HS. Oh no, that was a nice burst. That was such a nice burst. Amato gets hit by the 4HS counter hit. Mugi smelling blood. Mugi smelling Amato wanting to press buttons again with the 6p counter and Mugi on point with the entire this has been definitely working for him. Mugi up 1-0. What is Amato gonna do? 
Yes, not every Nagori Yuki player plays the same and Amato gets this um, gets to see this with the first seats in front with the front seats playing two of the best Nagori Yuki players in the world. And here we go, the command grab from Mugi. Gonna get the kill. Yes, he is. Amato's life melting away. What is Amato gonna do? Down one match, one round. And Mugi with the double six Ps. Check to prevent Amato from jumping on him. Good Mugi, man. Smelling blood, wanting to keep Amato in the corner. Oh, Lord, in the book, yo, man. Mugi, man, keeping Amato, preventing him from moving whatsoever. Getting the juggle, man, that was sick. And freaking Mugi up to the zero already. That was so quick. That was sick. Oh, yeah, man, he's not the best Nagori Yuki player in Japan for nothing, bro. This right here is the best Nagori Yuki in Japan. Mugi, by far, man. Dude, that HS, that was sick, right? That was really sick. Good stuff. Only in the Brojo Cup, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go with the mix, mix, mix to catch the bag dash from Mugi. Mugi going for the wake up uh, command grab. Other command grab on the wake up of Amato. We go to 6P again, man. This has been the bane of Amato. Amato checking that uh, command grab attempt this time around, just bag dashing out of it. Oh, a strange, um, an uncharacteristic drop from Mugi right there. And Amato taking this time. Oh no, he can't get the punish on the freaking Blood Rage, but he should be able to seal it. No! And he falls on the banana. No! No, not like this. Not like this. Oh, and the press will get into the Beyblade just like this. Moogie is on set point. Good lord. Again with the start. Oh, nice burst, Amato. <laughs> okay, finally, Amato getting something going on. He gets the spear into the golf. Okay, Amato getting the weight. I wanted to overextend. Got the banana, got the weight. Gonna get the jump in. Forcing Mugi on the banana. Little Faust is here to play. Mugi says, no way. Oh, and Mugi, man, on the freaking blocks from the side switch uh, on the meteor. That was really sick. Good stuff from Mugi. That being said, Amato, no stranger to. Oh, okay, this time I'm not gonna get hit by the wake up. Uh, overdrive from Mugi and Mugi just getting killed by the bomb. <laughs> okay, Amato not out of this yet. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, start of around 6p again, but this time around Amato not committing to any attacks. Gets the 2s counter, uh, the 2s knockdown. Look at how many, how many, how many freaking hammers can one Faust get? Man, oh lord, and that was a bad TP, but saved by the cavalry. Right there, oh lord again, Mugi man with the 6p, it's been working so good. Gets the front Fukio into the grab. And gets the DPN, this should do, yeah. Good stuff from Mugi, takes it a clean 3 to nail, sending him. Okay, so that next match gonna be none other than Roy versus Goran. Extremely uh, hyped to see exactly how this match is going to unfold. Roy Soul, very strong Soul player versus Goran, extremely strong Testament player, probably the best together with uh, RX and also the dog, the, the Emperor dog that most of you guys in, from the West already know about, I suppose. The, uh, but yeah, these are the three best Testament players in Japan currently. So uh, Goran, RX and the dog, <laughs> the Emperor dog. So, yeah, so uh, hopefully Goran is going to sh uh, put up a very nice show to showcase the potential of Testament. Fortunately for him, gets grabbed and put ever so slightly in the corner. That being said, very nice use of the burst right there to side switch. Tries to make the burst, but Roy with the delayed, um, the delayed, uh, what's it called? Ah, and here we go with the Schmix. And unfortunately for Goran, he gets open. This should be enough. Oh, no, it's not actually. Roy saw resorting not to use the RC extension just in case, just to get the wall break. Probably thought that it was going to wall splat, but unfortunately for him, Mas miscalculation from him, but that being said, here we go with, with Goron getting the air to where he almost got the juggle, and Roy with the wake up DP, man, his trade, his signature move, if I might say. Roy with uh, the, oh, Lord, and the sting, and the juggle from, uh, and the juggle from Goron resorting to uh, keeping his attention bar in order to probably get more options 
post uh, wall break. Ah, very nice check right there, 2k2s. From going on, gonna get the juggle. Should be enough to kill? No, it's not, actually. Uh, well, probably didn't... Yeah, probably didn't believe it was gonna be enough to kill. Goron resorting to, yeah, trying to just zone his opponent just to be safe. Because being close to Roy is never safe, <laughs> as you probably already know. The dude is uh, very prone to DPing you at very strange intervals, so you don't want to be close to him when he does. Very nice use of the um, of the of the crow right there to anti Roy solve in his uh, bended bringer. Very nice juggle from Goron. Go straight for the um, Nostrovia. For the juggle, he's gonna get a wall splat into the stained state. He gets the wall, he gets the juggle once again and gets the kill with the Super Arbiter. 31. And the first match goes to Goron. Very nicely done. Let's see how Roy is going to adapt. Is he going to find some sort of way to shift the momentum of this battle? We shall see in a couple of minutes. Here we go, the Bandit Breaker. No one home. Goron trying to check the approaches from Roy so gets the D juggle and the stained state. Goes at it very, very methodically. Doesn't want to overextend because he knows that Roy has a tendency to just DP when you are close to him, so he doesn't want to take that risk. A little bit too far to get the Arbiter, but it's still okay, still out of harm's way, but gets juggled off of the Bandit Bringer counter hit. This should do... Yep, this is going to be a wall break. Goron does have a lot of bars. Oh, gets the jump! Uh, Roy with the Vortex. Fortunately for Goron, he was able to hit Roy with the 6 HS. And here we go, the Arbiter. And the entire December round from Goron. Very nice check from him gets the first round of the second match. Okay, tried to go for the whiff punish, but Roy was a little bit too far. Bah, Lord, and the aerial arbiter gets the side switch, unfortunately. Oh, okay, here we go with Godon trying to get the grab right after the 2 HS. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, oh, decent damage. What is Roy going to do? It almost got hit right there. Goes for the bandit breaker, but gets punished. And Roy, man, again, man, for forbidden to go out of the corner. And Goron with the space control right here totally neutralizes everything that Roy tries to send towards him. Good stuff from Goron. Definitely strong showcase of uh, his prowessy. His pro proficiency. His prowessy. What the hell is prowessy? The proficiency of Testament. And Goron with the zoning game doesn't want the Roy to get close at all. Gets the counter hit juggle, man, and it's all back to square one. Ryan Goron again with the anti orbiter gets the juggle into the freaking, the freaking Strovia. And Roy Sol not only affected by the stained state, but also by a hard knockdown. Does wake up with the standing K and finds the opening. Oh no, and oh, but still. Still, Roy had the correct uh, guess to use the FD to try to put um, distance between him and Goron. And then, uh, but still, Goron had the uh, time to pop a 2k in order to get the kill. Okay, back to the neutral, and Roy with the Bandit Bringer. Okay, Goron trying, yeah, making it so that he makes Roy think that he's going for the TP, but... Oh lord, that was so cheeky, but just at the end of... The stained state, Goron couldn't quite get the juggle off of it. This is so... Oh, no, and the wake up. Super Arbiter. You hate to see it. And Roy going for the extended combo for added damage. This is set point. If Roy loses this one, he is out of the tournament. He gets the wall break. Roy with the gun flame. Oh, no. Wow. And that jump out of the grab attempt from Goron. And Roy, just like this, is up one round. But still, Goron on set point. If he wins this one, Roy is out of the court, is out of the, the tournament. Very nice instant blocks from Roy. Gets entire though. You hate to see it again, man, with the counter hit. Gets the stained state. <laughs> Immediate start of around bended bring bended bended re revolver man. And Goron looking pretty good though. He has a lot of resources. He's got the stain state as well. Forcing roll. Oh, Lord, and catching that vortex. Uses his whole bar trying to bait the burst, but Roy, being very patient, didn't bite. And thankfully so. 
Go straight for the uh, ah, the Tyrant Ray. For the hard knockdown, what is going to be the mix up? Oh, and the checks from Goron, man. Oh, no. He was so close to get the kill. And back to and here we go with Karasuchan catching the back air. Uh, and here we go on to the next battle. Genji Ha versus Oni Dark Necro. Axel versus Nagoriyuki. Again, probably not such a very nice matchup against... Um, well, for, for Nagoriyuki uh, specifically. Uh, because, yeah, Axel can definitely uh, hit him from very far away and prevent him from making his approach. But that being said, once Nagoriyuki finds his way in, it is basically bye-bye for Axel. So this is going to be a cat and mouse type of matchup in which Denjiha has to do his best to keep Dark Necro out. And keeping Dark Necro out is not easy to do. And I can I speak from experience. Okay, anyways, here we go on to the next battle. Denji out versus Dark Necro. Here we go. An immediate start of around 6p. Sir, you do not jump on me. Dark Necro already with the wall break. That positive bonus. Definitely in prime position. A very nice start. And again, man, with the jumping, the counter hit, man. Good lord. Oh, and he goes for the command grab immediately. Roman, quick Roman cancels into close S for the kill. Denji out didn't have anything to do. Couldn't do anything. Here we go. Started the round with the wall break. Finally, Denji have forced to pop the burst. Okay, gets their Lin Sengeki. Gets the standing P. For the entire against standing P. Oh, no. That was an unfortunate Lin Sengeki. And Dark Necro going straight for the quick dust. Roman cancel for the wall break. Good lord. Okay. No, no. And the close for the kill. And Dark Necro takes it. Takes the first game very, very quickly. Good freaking lord. <laughs> that was really quick. Okay, it's okay. The first the first round is obviously just to test the waters just to see what your opponent does. So definitely not out of the water yet. It's definitely possible for Denji Ha to make a comeback. Very nice instant block, by the way, by Denji Ha. Ah, but Denji Ha forced Bob the Burst to get out of pressure. No entire right there. Very nice jumping HS right there from Denji Ha. Cannot really get anything going though. Already going to get wall broken. That's a lot of damage right here. <clears throat> okay, what is going to be the start of the round? Here we go. No, almost got the lens in again. The grab for the kill by OD Dark Negro. Already up one match, one round. What is Denji going to do? Here we go with the jump back S. Dark Negro finds the opening. Ah, finds the knockdown and it's back to bite day. Oh lord, what was that? Wall break for Dark Negro. Denji out. has a burst. Still not impossible, but oh lord, man. Oh, good lord. And the jump in from Dark Negro waiting for Denji to actually pop the burst, but never came. And Dark Negro just ended up grabbing him for the kill. Good lord, Denji out. What, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? He started the third match. Okay, Denji finally getting a combo in. Ah, that was an unfortunate Lensen Yeki right there. Okay, Dark Negro going for the clone. Denji on point with the uh, the just defense though. Again with the just defense and Dark Negro noticing that Denji likes to jump out of the corner. Goes for the aerial grab and the double command grab. The double kiss. Just like this Dark Negro on match point. And then yeah, going for the jump out, man. The back, the back IAD. Oh, okay, here we go. It's time to bring the heat. Finally, finally, then yeah, getting something. Oh, but getting hit by the clones. But it's uh, not okay. It's not over. And the standing P for the kill. Finally, then yeah, takes one round. Let's see if he can continue this. Hopefully for him, he will. Okay, here we go. Very nice back dash right there from Denji out. Goes for the air grab, but Dark Necro on point with the air grab. Okay, back to the neutral. This is the place that Denji out wants to stay. And the 6p counter hit, man, from Dark Necro getting the juggle into the Wasude Yuki. For the hard knockdown and the positive bonus. And also to lower the amount of blood that he currently has. So what is going to be the wake up? Safe jump from Dark Negro. Okay, Dempa going for the extension station. Get some added damage. Definitely wants to seal the deal. 
Okay, back to the neutral. Oh, and that grab! Good stuff from Dempa. Goes for the rainwater. Oh, Lord. You hate to see it. Oh, no. Gets hit by the third hit of the freaking Rekka. Oh, Gary Gold is standing P. No! 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 And the trade. Oh, and here we go! Pop that overdrive. Good stuff from Denji. I managed to take one match. That was so close. Denji I'm not going out without a fight. That is the least he could do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, he's doing a good job. Good stuff, good stuff. That was unexpected. And that is exactly what was needed to take the match. So good stuff for him. Back in the match. Oh, gets the rainwater. Catches that Beyblade attempt from Dark Necro. Thank you very much for the follow, Lemster. Welcome to the Brojos. We're going to 2HS. Dark Necro not... Not committing uh not committed to aerial attacks gets a knockdown confirm into the dp go straight for the wasariyuki there we go this is gonna do a lot of damage okay, boom awesome decent damage all things considered the dark Nick, we're going for the save jump uh lord rainwater in the one home oh and that uh, why see though Okay, Dempa catching Dark Necro pressing buttons. Oh, gets the Rinse and Geki. Oh, no, the 2 HS man, and he confirmed from Dark Necro. And just like this, Dark Necro on set point is. Oh, no, forward Fukuyu to grab. Grab again. Ah, 2 HS on block, but very nice backdash from them, but that would have spelled death. I can tell you. Okay, gets the knockdown. Wants to get the grab. Okay, gets the counter hit. Gets the corner positioning. Gets the freaking aerial grab. Dempa looking very much alive right now. It did get swooped. No, 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 not like this. Wait, it's not over. Ah, it is over. Yeah, this is over. It is over. Ah, no, Dempa with the unfortunate golden burst. Losers, uh, third actually. This is the third. Yeah, this is the third losers bracket match we still have one more to go before we move on to the winner's final that being said here we go on with uh, the third losers bracket match and amato already stained stained by that very very mean mean machine that is this crow ah, unfortunately gets stained yet again but it's okay thankfully for his wig oh no and little faust little faust oh, and the juggles the juggle is real and Amato with the reset get the freaking burst mate and he goes for the freaking the golf club and this should be enough that was a sick sequence that was absolutely sick good stuff from Amato man always great to see him play okay and here we go with uh the jump in by Goron fails to get the juggle unfortunately and gets his bag dash swept by the mix 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 and here we go with Amato. Trying to keep Goron in the corner. Here we go yet again. Oh, very nice. Very nice standing S right there to uh, throw the bomb back at, at Amato. From Goron. That being said, yeah, Goron in dire straits right there. Probably going to pop the YRC. No, he doesn't actually. Okay, nice stuff from both players still. And the Arbiter, man. That was sick. Oh, Goron trying to bait that burst, but yeah, Mato not giving it to him. Ah, la 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 la. I guess the far is for the kill. Good stuff for um, Goron. One round apiece, we have a tie. Okay, here we go to Forest. Come on! <laughs> Amato getting the side switch, gonna push uh, Goron right on the bomb. And Goron on point with the Arbiter. That being said, he was hit by the Arbiter. Uh, yeah. Yet again, he was hit by the, uh, the the spear and then the Arbiter again. And this should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Amato. Takes the first match extremely convincingly. Is he going to make his way to the semifinals? We shall see. On to the next battle. And here we go with uh, the sweep attempt by Amato. And Little Fast already on the board. Oh, Amato getting that very, very well uh, desired trumpet in order to get the cavalry. 
And Goron tries to get, go to for the grab, but Amato was already out of grab range. What he did? We'll go with uh, the with the dives. Definitely being the bane. Oh my lord, man. Amato, what did he eat today? Went for the wall splats too, man. Didn't even know that Faust had a wall splat. The wall splat, like, um, loop. That being said, Goron definitely not out of this yet. Goes for the confirm. 6 HS from the stained. Pretty hard to do. YRC from Amato. Ah, Amato trying try to read the back dash, by the way. Oh no, and too hard. Ah, but still, our Goron getting the kill with the Arbiter. Very nicely done. Why is going to be the rest? Very nice jumping D from Amato. Pushing Ron in the corner, goes straight for the grab. Go for a save jump. Yes, he did. Okay, Amato trying to check the attempts of Goron to get out of the corner. Uh, I couldn't quite... Oh, Lord! Goron popping that Golden Burst, probably expecting Amato to use the, uh, the Sky Crow Tech to side switch. But uh, thankfully for Amato, uh, well, Amato didn't commit to it. Therefore, Goron just wasted a burst, unfortunately, for him. Very nice checks right there from Amato. Shouldn't be enough to kill. Ah, he goes for the quick Roman, uh, the quick dust for the opening. It's a Roman cancel for the kill, the wall spot, and then the kill. And on to the next round, third round. Goron definitely needs this one if he wants to tie it up. If not, he's going to be in a very, very precarious position. Ah, here we go with the weight. Uh, with the hammer, it's hammer time. Hammer bis. Oh lord! And little Faust has been uh, initiated. Uh, here we go with the bomb. Not so many useful items right there. Unfortunately for Amato. Okay, very nice use of the uh, the TP right there from Goron. To delay his fall into the onto the, the what's it called the bomb. Ah good stuff. Yeah, it's been Lord. They've been at it for a long time, man. Here we go with the hammer. He's got the weight. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, he even got hit by the bone. Okay, good stuff from Goron to pop the burst right there, the golden burst. And this should actually do a lot of it. Oh, no, he drops it. He goes for the resets. And just like this, Goron brings it back. Holy freaking lord. That was a, that was a hustle right there. Good stuff from, from Goron. Definitely not out of this yet. Man, Kaiden, you... And on to the next battle, both rocking that red color that I absolutely love. The color of blood. <laughs> not not the reason why I like this color, by the way. But anyways, here we go with the jump in from Goron. Gonna get a wall break with stained state. Ah, and the Mata with the checks, rightfully so. Ah, Goron getting that. Ah, that hit goes for the dust. Quick cancel into killing combo. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Nice check right there from Gorong using the 2k. But gets mixed, mixed, mixed by Amato, who goes straight for the command grab for the wake. The wake is on fire! But Goron waking up with the gold burst, man. It's crazy. Not afraid. Goron with the confirms. Gonna get a very nice wall combo. And Amato again, man, using the scarecrow to get out of the corner, but. Couldn't quite confirm his, yeah, his uh, offense. And here we go with the freaking loops in the corner. Goron getting hit by the weight. And Amato using the close S to catch the back dash attempts from Goron. Ah, and the freaking juggle is real. Oh no, and the grab Amato. Mistiming probably his uh, overdrive attempt on wake up right there. And Goron taking this uh, this opportunity to just grab him out of it. This was unfortunate. And here we go with the start of what can potentially be final set. Good lord, that was sick. Ah, here we go the close S from Goron and gets a stained state. Oh, he's gonna get the juggle. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, actually resorts to keeping him out in the corner. Ah, uh, and Goron, man, with the freaking corner pressure, goes for the quick dust and the 6 HS for the wall break and the kill. Goron on match point, set point, actually. Is Amato going to be able to shift the tide of battle and bring it back? We shall see. <laughs> Go straight for the 
Come on, grab for the wig. The wig is on fire. Ah, and here we go. Yep. Ah, go around. Just exploded right there. Ah, very nice use of the bomb to send it straight back to Amato. Amato with the spear, though. Checking the uh, running attempts from Goron. Okay, here we go. Good stuff from Amato. He's in the corner, though. And here we go with the juggle. Good checks from uh, Goron. And this should do with the 31. 21? Was it 31? Anyways, Goron takes it 3 this is Oni Dark Necro. This is the uh, the last match before the winner's final. So let's see how this pans out. Caffeine versus Oni Dark Necro. Very nice city right there from Caffeine. Manages to catch the back Fukio of Dark Necro. And here we go with uh, Caffeine trying to beat that burst but never came. A little bit too far for that command grab. And Caffeine uses this opportunity to catch Dark Necro right with her uh illusion driver here we go caffeine putting some distance would rather uh try to zone with uh, the very nice use of the guard point though from caffeine to interrupt the 2 hs from dark negro oh lord and that freaking 6 hs and i air from caffeine manages to take the first round very nicely done Okay, and here we go with the tick pressure from Dark Necro. Ah, and the corner positioning from Dark Necro manages to get the grab. Ah, Lord, ah, tries to go for the command grab, but still, Caffeine refuses to get hit by it. And Caffeine, man. Ah, Lord. Trying to be. Oh, and Air Dark Necro in the house, y'all. What are you flying? I'm flying Air Dark Necro. Good stuff from Dark Necro, pushing Caffeine ever so slightly in the corner, and Quick Roman cancel for early, um, for early, um, well, drop back on the, on the floor, basically, I guess. Anyway, it's okay. Caffeine getting the minion pressure. Yeah, would rather, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, and the grab from Dark Necro catches the backdash from Caffeine. A little bit too far to get the command grab, though. Probably a misinput. And Dark Necro in the corner gets the golden burst though. And Caffeine Man getting them juggles. Not enough to kill though. Guts, guts. Uh, Caffeine immediately popping the burst, man. Using the minion to try to ship Dark Necro out. And successfully does so. Caffeine actually managed to take the first match, man. Good lord, are we gonna see another upset? That would be sick. I wanna see it. I wanna see the upset. Upset me, please. Okay, and here we go, the double Fuki and Caffey noticing that Dark Negro likes to command grab right after two consecutive uh, Fukios. That being said, Dark Negro in dire straits right now, having to uh, to uh, having to endure the uh, pressure from Caffeine. Amato san, it's my Yatozaimas, because Sanga itada ki honto ni ali Yatozaimas. Mo kyo mo. ダークネクロさんを倒してルーザーズに送るなんてすごいと思いましたまたぜひ参加してくださいありがとうございました and here we go with the quick dust for the opening but Darknecro on point with the grab with the um with the blocks and look at this look at this pressure man and again with the roman cancel in order to quick oh no did we just counter it too far to get the juggle though again here we go with the minion for the kill Caffeine looking pretty good, man. One matchup, one round up. Definitely taking the lead now. Good lord. And here we go with... Yeah, the minion pressure is real. Ah, and here we go again with the minion pressure. Dark the grabbing to deal with it. I guess it by the standing age. And you're in limbo, Dark Negro. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Gets opened up. Ah, lord. This definitely seems like a very hard matchup, not gonna lie. I managed it, man, to oh, catch the backdash. And Caffeine, oh, he's gonna invite the freaking. No, he could have killed. Oh, and the Twitch is online. Yo, no, Dr. Negro, not out of this yet. He's gonna go camp. He's gonna go ham. He's gonna go ham. And still, Caffeine gets the kill. Caffeine moving up to 2 to 0, man. Holy freaking lord. Good lord. Ah, Amato-san. Arigatou gozaimasu. 
And here we go with Cafe the Dark Nitro trying to catch that burst from Caffeine. The Caffeine not giving it to him. And here we go with immediate uh, cancel into the Illusion Driver for added. Go oh, look at the damage. Holy freaking lord. Caffeine on the bridge. I'm actually digging it. Ah, uh, good lord. The two H's and the Minion for the kill. Good lord, Caffeine on the verge of eliminating Dark Necro, this is crazy. Very nice 4HS. Oh, and using the guard point, man, to prevent Dark Necro from punishing him on his way down. And here we go, the gold burst. Oh, and the immediate use of the freaking overdrive from Dark Necro, man. The reeds are here. The reeds are definitely here. Here we go, double Fukio this time around. Caffeine not doing anything. This content to just block. This is understandable. Here we go with Dark Nick run to Quake, Dust into Room and Cancel. Ah, here we go ahead. The tick pressure is real. Caffeine finding the opening. Oh, what is going on? What is going on? Ah, here with the late throw. What is that? This is crazy, man. What did Caffeine eat today? He definitely drank Caffeine. That's what he did. And the block. Of the gold burst, man, that was sick! Dark Negro not out of this yet, but yeah, this is crazy, man. This Jack was crazy. Good stuff from Caffeine, man. I'm really, really surprised. He's really playing very good today. Anyways, that being said, Dark Negro is no slouch, no, um, no stranger to a, a very... Exactly, <laughs> that, this is exactly it. He is true to his name. Okay, that being said, here we go with the Quake Dust, Roman Castle for the opening and Dark Nick we're gonna get that wall break and yeah, what is going to be the Oki not not Oki but what is going to be the Schmix oh lord no entire uh tried to go for the guard point but Dark Nick Pro not biting wow you're gonna 2d counter it this is set point by the way if Dark Nick is it's open it's over and this should do this should do is this going to do yes it is and caffeine eliminates Dark Nick Pro Clean three to nil. Uh, Limland, and welcome to the Brojos. On to the winners final. Happy Garuja versus Mogi. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, good lord. Here we go. Start of round six p. Both six p. Right at the start of the round. Very, very uh, funny interaction, if I might say. Okay, anyways, here we go. Back to the neutral, and Happy Garuja with the whiff punish. Gets whiff punished himself. Both opponents forced to pop the burst. No one has burst anymore, but both have a little bit of resources. Ah, and both using the blue RC to get out of harm's way, but Moogie getting punished for it. Moogie with his back to the wall has to endure the pressure that Garuja is bringing to him. Good stuff from Garuja takes the first round. And on, Lord, good Lord, and onwards to the next, the next round. Here we go with the tick pressure from Moogie. Goes for the 6H. Ah, tries to, yeah, open it. Ah, Garuja up. Goes for the Roman cancel side switch using the Fukio. Gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done by Mugi. Here we go, 6p, 6p. <laughs> and the Beyblade for the kill. Good stuff from Mugi. Responds in due form. With a perfect as it should be. Here we go, Garuja with the take pressure, man. And the freaking 2p2. Oh no! And the Jacques Chirac catching the Bagdash for Moogie. Look at the damage. Jacques Chirac for the win. Okay, here we go to 2s. Ah, Beyblade catching the Bagdash from Garuja. Oh, very nice instant block from Garuja. Not enough to punish though. And here we go to 4hs. And no, you wanted to go for it. For command grab, I, I can tell. I know it. Especially didn't get the uh, cancel right away. Here we go to Fukio, try to go for the grab, but Garuja on point with the tech. And ah, oh, Garuja getting that room, that uh, that uh, that first good stuff from Garuja takes the first match very convincingly. Let's see how Mugi is going to uh, reverse the tide of battle if it is possible. Here we go to Fukio, Garuja. Staying, staying very, very strong, and gets his his uh, grab attempt abated. Nice twist right there from Mugi. Pushes Garuja in the corner. Goes for a late Fukio. 
Continues the pressure for Fukio. And finally gets the command grab. And here we go with the wake up DP from Garuja. Double wake up DP from Garuja. It doesn't care. Garuja with the corner positioning. Forcing Mugi to eat some pressure as well. But Mugi finding the opening with uh, the far S shouldn't be enough to kill though. It's gonna be close. Is it gonna kill though? It might. Uh, it's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. My bad. I lied. I lied. Good stuff. Good stuff from Mugi. Brings it back with clutchness. Okay, up one round but down one match. Here we go. The back Fukio, front Fukio. And yeah, Mugi trying to find the opening, but yeah, Gruja not giving it to him for free. Nice grab right there from Mugi. Goes for the save jump. Goes for the back Fukio to invite Gruja to try and punish him. Okay, here we go. Oh, just defense, man. These are real. Oh, Lord, and the DP. No one's home, though. Good stuff from Mugi. Could not extend, could not convert with the uh, DP, or he would have been over his blood limit. And a wake up overdrive from Mugi. And what the hell was that? It went through him? That's so strange. That being said, Garuja taking this opportunity to get max damage and get the kill. Consequently, a very nice XP from Garuja. Blocks the Beyblade. That was strange, right? How did it not hit the, the shield? It's so strange. That being said, here we go with Garuja, man. On with trying to zone. Doesn't get the entire. Leo Perry is invulnerable for like two. Oh, okay, okay. He low kick frame kill. Oh, okay, okay, got it. But it's invulnerable. But I thought that the um, the counter frames were his invulnerable his invulnerable frames basically. So that means that there are two separate things. Like let's say he has like two invulnerable frames and then it's Perry frames. Or it's it's strange. I thought that he, like yeah he only had like Perry frames that in, that uh, activated right off the bat like frame one. Mm. That, that's so strange. Yeah, involved for two frames before he becomes active. Okay, okay. That's so strange. But anyways, that's cool. That That's good to know. And he can actually get a better uh, punish off of the fact that he goes through the overdrive and then can get like a full punish off of it. Now, so that's actually pretty convenient for him. Now that I think about it. But anyways, that being said, Mugi bring it back. One match apiece. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Lorian, the closest counter hit, and Mugi punishing the burst attempt from Happy Garuja. Tries to get the command grab, but Garuja on point with the back dash. Finds opening on the low, but gets hit by the Nagori Yuki. Beyblade counter hit. Goes for the safe jump. And Garuja trying to get the grab, but Mugi with a backstep of his own. Finds the punish and gets the kill. Very nicely done by Mugi. Definitely not out of this yet. Well, currently in the lead, actually. One round, one match. Oh, and the delayed, the, the delayed DP8 to see it. Here we go, the OTG, the 6H. And the grab from Mugi shouldn't be enough to kill, though. Good damage, though. Happy Garuja on his last legs. No entire from Mugi. And Garuja going straight for the... Ah, the... The the no, it's called the uh, the side switch, but Mugi on point with the grabs right here, up two matches to one, and I love this BGM by the way, Xenoblade. Oh man, 2D counter, 2D counter. You hate to see it. Okay, and Garuja man trying to find the opening, finds it, gets the counter hit, gets full combo. Good lord, oh yo, Garuja man. Thanks, man. I, I'm very proud of my BGM list. <laughs> and here we go with the wall break. Garuja with the grab and the kill. We have two... Uh, actually, no. One round up for Garuja. Needs another one if he wants to tie it up. Here we go with the jump in from Garuja. Unfortunately, hesitant there. But wakes up with the DP. Obviously, he's Leo. <laughs> that means here we go with Garuja. Gatches the back dash with the... With the Jack Shira goes immediately for the Iron Bouquet. Good stuff. And here we go with the take pressure and Mugi man. Oh, Mugi with the grab. Garuja holding on to his DP. Ah, oh, the grab again. 
And a wake up super from Garuja. Puts one on the board as well. Two matches apiece. This is beautiful. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, going down to the wire, huh? I foresee that it's going down to the final round. I don't know why. Anyways, here we go with the burst from Moogie. Oh, Lord, and the DP from Garuja. Happy DP. Oh, Lord. Oh, and that back dash from Moogie, man. And again with the wake up DP from Garuja finding the opening. Uh, Bates the take a 10th right there from Moogie, but Moogie did have the uh, bar in order to make it safe. Here we go with the Super Nugget Burger to keep Moogie in the corner, but Moogie not afraid to just throw it out, man. Oh, Lord, on the jump in from Garuja. Ah, and he got the shimmy. Garuja on set point, on the verge of sending Moogie in the loser's bracket and making his way to the grand final. Moogie, though, with the confirms off of this, the DP, man. Very nicely done. Okay, nice spacing from both. And unfortunately for Garuja gets hit by the... Woo, that was close. Uh, here we go with the corner pressure. Yeah, Moogie wary of the DP right there. You can definitely see it. Ah, Lord. And the wake up golden burst from Moogie. That goes for the quick Roman cancel. Ah, then Garuja again with the shimmy attempts. Ah, the Jacques Chirac. The Jacques Chirac. Oh, the Jacques Chirac! Jacques Chirac, best president! Here we go with the kill and Garuja sending. Oh, oh good lord. Goron versus Caffeine. Thank you very much for the follow point, Prometheus, and welcome to the Brojos. Yeah, this is the Magic Corp Festival, it is. <laughs> Okay, and here we go with the tick pressure from Capping, trying to make his way out of the out of the freaking corner, and Goran not afraid to just run straight at Caffeine in order to keep him in the corner. That is. And here we go with the tick pressure. Oh Lord! Very nice duty counter, isn't it? <laughs> it is, man. I should make a I should make an emote from it, like literally just "Good Lord" in words. And, and just make an emote out of it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, it's something I definitely say way too often. <laughs> that being said, back to the match and the zoning proficiency of caffeine prevails. Takes the first round very convincingly. Here we go the juggle. <laughs> I will, I will. I promise I'll so. I'll work on it tomorrow. I'll try to upload it tomorrow if I find something decent. That should be fine. Shouldn't be too hard to do. And here we go with the tick pressure from Goron. Oh, gets the jump in. I uh, tried to bait the burst, but Caffeine being very reasonable didn't abide. And here we go with the wake up overdrive. Oh no, and Goron gets it. Uh, it goes for the Roman cancel. Uh, it goes for the quick dust. For the wall splat and the kill. Good stuff from Goron. We have one match apiece, one round of apiece. Immediate the burst of from Gorondo. Okay, here we go. The tick pressure. Nice entire air. Caffeine didn't commit to an aerial attack though. We go with the jump in from Caffeine. Finds the opening with the 2D counter hit. And Caffeine goes for the side switch. Good stuff. It goes for the safe jump. And finds the opening with the uh, quick dust Roman cancel. He's gonna get the wall break. And on to the neutral the forest for the freaking punish here we go the jump in and the guard point man from caffeine oh and that freaking clash Rome blue roman cancel into the punish for caffeine very nicely done manages to take the first match by the skin of his teeth but still very nicely done let's see how this spins out oh there you go with the guard point a little bit well did a little bit too early, unfortunately, for him. Guard point again. This time around finds the... Oh, look. The... Oh, 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 oh. What, 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 what? No! No! Don't! Don't! What the hell? What is going on? Oh, what is going on? What the hell is going on? I think we're desynced. We're not. What the hell happened? That was so strange. I've never seen something like this. That was so strange. Yeah, there was too much hype. Anyone with the jump in from 
go around. Well, thankfully we didn't get disconnected, so I'm happy. Oh. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, okay, it's not desynced either, so it's, it's fine, it's fine. We're, get, we're back in business. I thought it was gonna... Oh! Blur up and catch! Oh! And go on getting it off of the ground. And Caffeine taking the lead, a clean lead, by the way. One match in one realm. You go with the 2D and that air grab from Goron, man. That BRC was sick, right? That was pretty sick, not gonna lie. And here we go with the juggle using the minions. Gets the knockdown with the 2C. 100% good lord! Good lord intensifies. <laughs> here we go with the Arbiter. Oh, the Arbiter in the corner pressure. Gavin trying to make his way out of the corner. Oh, so many good lords here. Oh. Oh no! And that freaking quick Roman cancel and Goron is gonna get the corner pressure. Gets the jug the 6P. Anti-air is gonna get the juggle with the Nazaro. Should be enough to kill him, definitely. Doesn't even need to add another hit. Good stuff from Goron. Definitely not out of this yet. Okay. Oh, here we go with the freaking air to air counter hit in favor of Goron. He's gonna get the corner pressure. Trying to get that stain state on Caffeine, whether he wants it or not. Ah, the guard point so cleverly used by Caffeine. Gets the hit with the minion. Gets the, the, the grab. He goes for the fake cross-up, but was correctly guarded by Goron. And Goron with the grab of his own. Goes for the save jump. Goes for the low 2S. Counter hit. Forces ah, Caffeine to pop the burst. We are in the corner. Save jump again. Ah, Caffeine forced to pop the wire C. Gets his, his bag dash. Uh, hit by uh, Goran and Goran just like this puts one on the board one round one match a piece actually Let's see how this spins out oh, This is so intense Again with the, the freaking the, the guard point of caffeine has been sworn point No, no puns intended by the way uh, Here we go with the juggle though the guard point of caffeine has been sworn point. Yes, that's the that's the point of the That's the point of the move sir Anyways, here we go with Caffeine in the corner pressure. Oh lord, using the using the minion to nullify the uh, skull attempts from Goron. Goron with the pressure still. I tried to get the grab. Couldn't quite connect. I guess the forest. And again, Caffeine with the standing uh, with the uh, HS2 catch. Goron and get the kill. Very nicely done. Down to the next round. The very nice six spear right there from Caffeine. Reading that Goron was going to uh, fish with the 4S. Okay. Ah, nice positioning from Goron. Forcing the burst from Caffeine. And Caffeine trying to get that back dash. Does it with the uh, standing HS. Ah, Goron almost got the stained state. Here we go with the Gravely. Oh, and the duty counter it. With the juggle, Caffeine on point, still gets the grab and the kill. Good stuff from Caffeine. Takes the lead, 2-1. to one. What is Goron gonna do? What is Goron gonna do? Let's see how this spins out. On to the fourth battle. Caffeine immediately with the counter hit, forcing the burst from Goron. And gets aerial grab by him as well. Here we go with the... Corner pressure from Goron. Finds the opening with the Arbiter. Here we go with the Stain State. Have to look at a lot of stuff here. And here we go with the Stain State. Yet again, you have to hold it. Ah, the pressure is real, man. Look at this pressure. What are you supposed to do? Goron with the grab. The perfect, the immaculate spacing from Goron. Managing to get that end grab for the kill. That was that was freaking nothing short of filet mignon right there. And Goron going for the empty low. Oh look, what is this? The 2D festival. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Caffeine finally catching that uh, that back dash with the counter hit. Uh, that no no not the counter, but catching uh, Goron pressing buttons with the 2D. And Caffeine with the Elysian driver. This should kill. Definitely did. That was a 2D festival right there, bro. <laughs> and just like this, Caffeine on uh, set point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Or is Goron going to make another fantastic display of the power of Testament? We shall see. Being said, it's a kind of a shaky start of the round right here from Goron. Gets hit by the 
by the um, Stratosphere minion. Gets escorted in the corner. He's looking pretty bad for Goron. Gets the Golden Burst. Wow, catch in the back. That's with the 6 HS and the close end. This is looking pretty good. Look at the damage. Look at the damage from Goron. He's gonna go for a safe jump. No, he goes for a freaking empty for an empty ground. And he goes for a low and just like this, Goron bringing it back. Good lord. God, I'm putting one more on the board. This is a perfect tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take it on that wonderful BGM of Soul Calibur 2? Which version of Soul Calibur 2 was your favorite, by the way? Was it the GameCube, the Xbox, or the PS2 version? Mine was the GameCube because we could play Link. Anyways, here we go with the Quick Dust counter hit. Uh, Roman cancel. And correctly blocked by uh, Goron, by the way. Goron with the knockdown. Oh, Lord, and catches that golden burst. Oh, yeah, of course, GameCube, man. Yeah, GameCube the best, man. It was. It was, it was. Anyways, here we go with the wall break and the stained version station of Goron gets another stained version. Uh, almost got the punish on the 2D, though. Uh, I guess hit by Dominion. Definitely not out of this yet, but Goron goes for the blue Roman cancel. And he's currently sitting on set point. Is Caffeine is going is Caffeine going to lose? We shall see. Very nice entire red there from Goron. Uh, almost got the grab on the 2D. And Gor Caffeine, man, with the cross up to cross up um HS, man. That was sick. Good stuff. He's going to get the wall pressure. Oh, look at this, man. The corner pressure is real. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You just have to take it, man. Oh, and the freaking start of the round with the Nostrovia and freaking Captain getting hit by it. This is so unfortunate. Uh, and yeah, Goron. Actually, oh, and that back. That's now he got the burst. He got the burst. It's going down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Goron versus Captain. Who's going to take it? Okay, punishes D2D adequately with the Arbiter this time around. Minions clashing with. Rose. Oh, again with the cross up HS, man. Counter it. And look, Caffeine getting all three minions off at the same time. Look at the damage. Look at the damage, guys. Look at the damage this is going to do. Oh, oh, it was a little bit lackluster, actually. <laughs> I thought it was going to be way better than that. But it's okay. It was decent damage. That being said, that being said, the corner pressure still for. Yeah. Oh, no. And Caffeine just like this is going to eliminate Goron. Boom! Driver indeed! Drive this back home, sir! Good. Caffeine's really freaking... Yeah, Caffeine has definitely improved, like... He wasn't... He wasn't that strong before, but he definitely improved, like, there's no... There's no questions asked, you know? He's definitely become way better than before. Okay, let's see how he pans out against Mugi, though. Training partner. So, uh, Mugi definitely aware of the playstyle of Caffeine. Wouldn't be surprised if, uh, he has, like, contingency plan when it comes to dealing with Caffeine, especially. So we'll see how this spins out. That being said, uh, wow, that BRC, man. Caffeine on, caffeine indeed. Here we go with the freaking corner pressure and the wake up overdrive. Boom! Get all of these minions out of my face. Thank you very much for the follow, Dragon Hazard, and welcome to the bro, Joes. Okay, here we go with the Fukyo and the Beyblade, but you cannot do anything about it. Uh, nowhere to air right there. Uh, that being said, guard point for the save. <gasps> wow, the Twitches got rid of everything at the same time. <laughs> the two minions and also hit Caffeine out of the air, man. That was sick. Uh, here we go with the uh, the burst and the forward friction to the grab for the kill. Good stuff. Rumugi takes the first round. And on to the next battle. Ah, uh, too far to hit. Too, s too far to hit. Too soft to live. And here we go with uh, the corner carry from Mugi. Getting the corner positioning. And Cappy knowing exactly when to stick out a limb to get the momentum back. Goes for the BRC. Okay, this time around gets out of the corner with the 6P. Counter it. Uh, Mugi afraid to fade the button right there. Finds the opening below at the exact moment. I think that was baited. Yeah, they Wow, that was sick. Yeah. Ah, Caffeine forced to pop the burst if he didn't want to die. Oh, and the 2HS, man, for the entire end. Just like this, Moogie takes uh, the first match very convincingly. 
Let's see if Caffeine can bring some sort of adjustment to try to shift the momentum back in his favor. Or if he is just going to be sent to the loser's bracket. No, no, this is loser's bracket. So if he's just going to be eliminated from the tournament. That being said, nice 2D counter hit from Caffeine. Gets the knockdown. Gets the OTG. Oh my lord, what are you supposed to do? I don't even know what, what you're supposed to freaking... Where are you supposed to freaking um, uh, uh, block? It's so crazy. It's so impossible to see. I suppose you're supposed to block it like standing, I guess. That being said, here we go with the wall break and the kill for Caffeine. Finally puts one on the board. Okay. How is Mugi going to answer? We shall see. Very nice close right there. Entire four. Mugi gets the, the, gets the burst bait. Nice backdash from Caffeine. And it is to get the empty low and the corner pressure. This time around Caffeine going for a jump in order to bait that uh, overdrive attempt from Mugi. And here we go with the pressure. This is true. This is real. What are you going to do? And Caffeine going for the loops in the corner. Going to get the wall break. Didn't have... Oh, Lloyd and the closest. Good lord. Oh, and the wake up. Oh, freaking overdrive from Caffeine for the kill. And just like this, Caffeine puts one on the board as well. Very nicely done. One match apiece. We have a tie in, ladies and gentlemen. Good uh, contingency plans from Moogie. Uh, was it? Uh, from Caffeine, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go with the sweep from Caffeine. Trying to push Mugi ever so slightly in the corner, but Mugi also doing the same from his side. Ah, no, 6P. Well, actually, 6P a little bit too late in order to anti Caffeine's. Oh, very nice block right there. From Mugi finally managed to block it. And this is the Golden Burst. You hate to see it. Too far to hit. And Mugi finding the opening with the breakout. Finds the opening with the 2S, and he should be able to get a wall break. I wonder... Ah, I didn't have enough tension to kill. This is unfortunate. That being said, Caffeine with the 2D round start into the Roman castle gets... <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no, Moogie! Moogie rage exploding right there. Which cost him the round, unfortunately. Okay, here we go with the jump. And Moogie finding the opening with a 6P. Uh, tries to go for a command grab, but Caffeine, man. Caffeine on point. Well, it did a little bit too early, I suppose. A very nice guard point from Caffeine. Yeah, the uh, blood level of Mugi is very high right now. He cannot afford to use too many Fukios. If he doesn't want to explode, that is. Ah, almost got the punish on the two on the on the two HS. But still okay, he gets the knockdown. Oh Okay, Caffeine trying to get something going. Here we go with the take pressure, gets the grab. And goes for the fake cross up and successfully does so. Caffeine on uh, the up up two to one. Can he continue this trend and eventually eliminate Mugi? We shall see. Mugi may be pondering whether he should uh, give a try to Leo. I suppose no, he doesn't. Mugi sticking with his gun because yes, Mugi has a Leo as well. Okay, we're going to 2K 2D and Mugi trying to get the juggle a little bit too far for it. Ah, and the guard point, man. Caffeine getting the grab. Ah, baiting the golden burst. Here we go with the grab. Oh, Lord. What are you going to do? And Caffeine getting the wall break. Ooh, the jump in. Ah, nice bar for Mugi. Got out of arm's way, thankfully, for this. Ah, Lord. Oh, oh no. I think Mugi pressed the button. No, he did it. But still, okay. Caffeine did have another bar in order to make it safe and grabs Mugi on his way down to Earth. Very nice far HS. Uh, far S, actually. It's not far HS. We go with the juggle from Mugi, forcing the burst from Caffeine. Caffeine with the guard point yet again. Making good use of it. <gasps> wow, that was so cheeky. He tries to go for the grab, but Mugi on point didn't get hit by it. He has the side switch. Gonna get the wall break. We go to Fukyo. We're trying to, yeah, 
seal the deal. Goes for the quick dust for the kill. And we have one round apiece. This is set point though. If Caffeine wins this one, he makes his way to the grand final against Garuja. Very nice wall bounce. He's gonna get the wall break. Very nice damage. This looks like it's going down to the second round. The second map. The, the final uh, match of the set. So, very nice UD counter hit. He's gonna get the burst. Nice burst, Moogie. Okay, yeah, I think he got hit. Yeah, I got it. Good stuff from Moogie with the overdrive, man. Not giving a single F. <laughs> Moogie putting one on the board again. We have a perfect tie. Is Caffeine going to stick to his guns? Yes, he is. And on to the final set. Uh, on to the final match of this set. Moogie already with the, the kiss. Uh, but nice burst timing right there from Caffeine. Corners a Mugi in the process. That being said, Mugi already out of the corner with a burst of his own. And gets the kill with the Wasuri Yuki. Wasuri Yuki! This time around, Mugi being on set point. What is going to happen? Ah, Mugi getting rid of all of the minions at once. And here we go with the wall break. Kaboom! Moogie definitely looking good once he's run back against Yuruja. Oh, Lord, here we go to close edge. Tries to go for the grab. Ah, a little bit too late for the 6 speed though. Caffeine makes his way out of the corner. Tries to find the opening. Goes for the quick dots. Roman cancel. Juggle into the wall. Carry. Ah, Lord, and here we go with the clones to try to get rid of that fireball. Caffeine waking up with Golden Burst. Definitely not out of it yet. It can definitely go either way. Especially with the amount of resource both players have. Oh, Lord, and this XP still gets hit by the minion, though. You hate to see it. Okay, and here we go with the buffs from the minion. You have to hold it. Yeah. Caffeine does not want to have to interact. Ah, uh, and oh, gets the juggle. Oh lord, and the two just got her in and just like this, Moogie with the juggles eliminates Caffeine. Spins out. Just my ticket. Why am I still in uh, Super Saiyan, by the way? Okay, this is why. Okay, now to the next battle. The final. Happy Garuja versus Mogi on the sick theme of the Zenogre from Monster Hunter World. I could not have asked for a better BGM. Good stuff. Let's up the antis. I want to listen to this song. And here we go with Happy Garuja being the Zenogre right now and Mogi being the hunter having to contain this beast. Who is going to be able to take it? The Zenogre or the, the, the hunter we shall say. And Zenogre just having that corner pressure and just getting rid of the hunter just like this. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm, I'm gonna stop this. Uh, okay, here we go with the guard point from the Zenogre. Getting the freaking overhead in the wall break. Oh, Lord. Uh, the hunter trying to get that whiff punish, but cannot have it quite consistently. Oh, uh, Moogie trying to get that. Oh, getting that aerial grab. First time I've seen that wall slump. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, Guru just, just ridiculous. This guy's so good. So crazy. Anyways, we go back to the neutral and Guruja with that Zvai catching Mugi off guard. Ah, uh, tries to go for the Iron Book, okay, but Mugi hadn't committed to anything. Goes for the double to the end. Guruja with the grab for the kill. That was sick. Guruja already up 1 to 0. Let's see how Mugi manages to uh, deal with this. We shall see. Good lord. Man, Gruja definitely on point, man. Not letting anything up. That was pretty insane, not gonna lie. Nice 6p right there from Mugi to catch Gruja out of the air. Gruja with the side switch. Forces Mugi to pop the burst. Oh, and Mugi with the freaking the Beyblade. And back to the neutral. That was a very good lord indeed. <laughs> we were the 4 HS. Uh, and both players using the blue Roman cancel to be out of harm's way. 
Ah, trying to get that bag dash, but oh, Garuja getting hit by the far HS counter hit. But Garuja does. Oh no, tries to go for the grab and gets a Roman. Oh, uh, not Roman grab. <laughs> yes, yes, command grab himself by Moogie. Very nicely done. Very nice use of the. Oh lord! Of the Beyblade right there to catch a bag dash. Very nice back, Pukyo. And here we go with the take corner pressure. Mugi canceling into the. Uh, canceling in order to get the extension and the kill. Very nicely done by Mugi up. Finally puts one on the board. One round of piece. One match apiece. It's a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who's gonna take it? Does it know or the hunter? We shall see. Good Zweit right there from Garuja, forcing the freaking I hate to see it the burst. But Mugi with the forest catches Garuja off guard. Ah, the uh, Rika. And Garuja, man, with the tick pressure. Gets the freaking whiff punish. Gonna get the juggle and the Jacques Chirac. And he's gonna get the kill with the Iron Bouquet. Good stuff from Garuja, man. Putting one round on the board. Get nice blocks right there from Garuja. Bag dashes from the grab attempt. Goes for the Jacques Chirac. Exactly, man. It's impossible to with punish the forest of Nago, man. And yet again, and yet, yet, yet. Uh, Garuja, man, I need to do it. Here we go with the 4K. Good lord. Nice bag dash right there from Garuja. Getting the double sweep. Oh, and here we go with the DP from Garuja, man. Getting rid of the, the clone and also Nagori Yuki. Oh, and that's XP counter it. Uh, that's XP uh, RC. Garuja, hero bursting right there. Confident that he can bring it back. Uh, um, he actually does it. <laughs> Lord. Okay, let's see if he can seal the deal. What the hell was that? No! What was that? That, that was a very that was a, like a next level DP man next level re DP man that was crazy. This stuff though uh, that this is unfortunate for Garuda. <laughs> it was so unfortunate, yeah. He was a little bit too nervous for at that particular instance. I feel. That being said, here we go with Mugi going very slow. Does not want to overextend. Definitely wants that reset. Okay. Oh, very nice bite. He gets the wall. It gets the grab. Oh, a nice bag that from Boogie. Right on the overhead attempt. And here we go, the wall break. Garuja, not out of this yet, though. Garuja trying to invite some. <gasps> and the Gorbash is here! Oh no, Moogie, Moogie, not like this! It's not gonna kill, though. Not gonna kill. Not gonna kill. Ah, oh, this is gonna kill, though. Good stuff from Garuja, man. Up 2-1. to one. Is he going to eliminate Moogie and take the 79th Bro Cup? We shall see. This is potential. Uh, this is potentially the last match. We shall see. Moogie, no! Ah, oh, but Moogie still okay. It's okay. He's not out. It's not out of it yet. He has one chance. He can bring it back. It's definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. Nice vibe right there from Happy Garuja catches the back dash with the overhead attempt. Ah, and again with the iron bouquet. Good take pressure from Garuja. Finds the opening on the verge of getting set point. Okay, here we go with the grab from Mugi. Goes for the save jump. And the just blocks from Garuja definitely on point. Yeah, the just the just blocks are definitely messing with with Mugi. Ah, it gets the kill with the third hit of the Rekka. Okay, Mugi, not out of this yet. Still here, still here. Yeah, that that super is, is plus, yeah. And here we go with the Rekka and Mugi catching the freaking jump attempt of Garuja with the close S. Gonna get an extended damage right there using the uh the the. The overdrive, the Wasule Yuki A. We go to the K2D, trying to invite Garuja to press a button. Garuja with the far 2K man. Oh, uh, oh, you go with Garuja catches the freaking. Ah, uh, 
Okay, nice interrupt right there from Moogie. And Moogie getting the hit on the Beyblade. Goes for a second Beyblade. Goes for the quick Roman Camp. Uh, the quick dust. Not over till it's over. Here goes the burst from Moogie. Moogie believing in it. Ah, oh, now it gets hit by this fight. You hate to see it. No, no Jack Chirac here. Yes, Jack Chirac here. Jack Chirac is in the house, yo. Oh, he goes for the side switch. Oh, and gets hit by the Beyblade. Okay, Mugi back here, back in the business. It's okay, it's okay. Two matches of pieces. Mugi gonna be able to reset the bracket. We shall see. Good lord. We go to 2D. Is it 2K? 2S? I'm sorry. Here was the mix up. Good stuff from Happy Garuja. Gets the low, gets the grab. Ah, oh, lord. Okay, here we go with the command grab. Moogie not out of this yet. Tries to get the back dash with the Beyblade. Oh, nice 2D right there from Garuja catches Moogie not blocking low. And here we go with the 2K opening from Garuja. This is tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. If Moogie loses this one, it is the end. The end, I say, the end of everything as we know it. Oh, here we go to four chests. Garuja trying to jump out of the pressure. Ah, nice whiff punish. Goes for the low. Ah, nice grab from Mugi. Noticing that Garuja lies, likes to front dash a lot. Ah, nice to be, but yeah. Too far. Here we go, this vibe. Goes for the overhead. And the Ice Bin Storm. The Raising Salami, as I like to call it. The Rising Salami. Ah, here we go, the OTG. Ruja, probably, definitely not. Fine, ah, gets hit by the party chest. Okay, we are going on both reset point and tournament point. Let's see how this pans out. Ruja definitely does not want to get reset. Here we go, the grab from Mugi. Mugi with the safe jump. Tries to get the command grab. Gets hit by the freaking Beyblade counter hit. Things are looking pretty good for Moogie. He baits the DP. And this should do. No! No, he would have gotten it if he did the, the Wasuriyuki. It's not over though. It's not over yet. Definitely not over yet. And he gets to go with the 4K. Good stuff from Moogie. G Garuja in the loser's bracket. That 5K was so far, right? That was crazy, man. So freaking far. And here we go with Mugi forcing up Garuja to wake up with the DP. Very nice with punish on the 2D. Oh, and that back dash from Garuja, man. Gets the grab yet again. Gets the overhead into the Iron Ball Camp. <laughs> okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, Lord, and invites Mugi to press a button right there. He goes for the Nugget Burger and the Quick Dust for the kill. Garuja definitely not happy that the, that the bracket has been reset. I can definitely tell. And we are on to the next match. The next round. Here we go. The Rekka from Mugi trying to invite Garuja to uh, pop the DP. Not coming though. Okay. Happy Georgie. Definitely looking good though. Uh, okay. He's got the corner pressure. Gonna get the loops and gonna get the wall break with the Jacques Chirac. Oh lord. Here we go, the bites from Mugi. Ah, uh, tried to go for another bite, but Garuja went for the 2D instead. Yeah, this should be okay. He has another bar to make it safe. Good punish from Mugi. Is this gonna be enough? Oh no! Oh, and the grab in extremis to get the kill. That was so close. Like, Mugi was on the verge of dying right there. Good stuff from Mugi, though. Aware that he needed that grab absolutely if he didn't want to die. That was so close. That was so freaking close. Yeah, wake up 2D to blow up the grabs attempts. If you do this as uh, Leo... Uh, usually, Leo players will tend to do this to either... So, when they have bar, they'll tend to do this on wake up because they... they they can they think that the opponent is going to try to bait a dp or they're gonna try to grab their dp so by doing 2d 
not only do they uh, they catch the backdash attempt from the opponent uh, on uh, the Okizeme of, of uh, Leo, but they also prevent them from grabbing them on wake up because the 2D is airborne. So that's a, a two-way... It's actually very intelligent to use the 2D on wake up as a, as Leo. It's very, very intelligent. And Mugia unfortunately gets Iron Bucket! <laughs> Good stuff from... Good stuff from Garuja. And the pressure is real, man. What are you gonna do? Happy GRG going completely ham in the corner. Definitely wanting that kill. But Mugi finding the opportune moment to press a button. So you can technically 6 p Yes, 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 yes you would. The correct answer would be to either do this to 6p out. But the thing is that... Yeah, yeah, you, you can definitely 6p it, I think. I'm pretty sure you can. 6p it on, on, but then you have to read the read. That's actually very, very hard to do, I feel. You can block, but the thing is that if... Uh, usually, uh, Leo players will tend to do this on when they have one bar of tension. Because um, that's going to be the pattern during which their opponent will try to bait a DP or throw the DP of Leo, basically. So you will rarely see um, a Leo player do wake up 2d without having a bar because that would mean that the opponent um like the op like the opponent would need to look for dp without uh leo wanting to uh to cancel the dp on wake up with rc i don't know if it makes sense but anyways yeah you can definitely six speed the two the 2d of uh of um of uh, leo and that being said mogi man with the kill definitely not out of this yet <clears throat> and on to the next battle with the 2S from BRG. Good lord, and uh, Mugi trying to catch the backdash with the with the wonderful Blade Blade. Here we go with close S. Very nice stuff from Mugi. Forces uh, Garuja to pop the burst. Ah, very nice DP right there from Garuja finally out of harm's way. Ah, goes for the reset. Ah, tries to read the back dash using the 2D, but Mugi was not committed to it. One match apiece. Okay, let's see. On to the third match. <clears throat> Very nice for S right there from Garuja. Oh no, and that was an unfortunate burst from Garuja. Oh no, got the DP baited. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Look at this. Mugi going straight for the Mwasuri Yuki for, uh, for, for additional damage. Let's see, safe jump? No safe jump. I don't think you can have a safe jump on, on, uh, ah, and here we go, man. Mugi being super fucking freaking patient. Sorry, I said the F word. Super freaking patient there. Definitely pays off. Gets the kill thanks to the, uh, to the punish on the, uh, the overdrive. Garuja looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Mugi going with the grab. <clears throat> and here we go with another grab. Here we go with the safe jump. 6P, man. And Mugi on point. On the verge of taking the lead, actually. Nice 2D from Garuja. Gets another 2D counter. Hit. We're gonna do a little bit of damage. Here we go with the Jack Chirac. The patience was pretty good lord worthy. <laughs> and just like this, Mugi takes the lead 2-1 two to, two to one, actually. Are we going to see an upset? We shall see. Oh lord, and the grab unfortunately for Garuja, man. Okay, go straight for the DP, man. And Mugi with... Oh no! Garuja, man! Not letting Mugi do anything. Stay there. Here we go with the Jack Chirac. Uh, oh no. No, and here we go with the command grab. Oh, and Moogie baiting the DP. Trying to look for that burst too, but yeah, Garuja not giving it to him. Nah, the, the, the options, are, the layers are pretty freaking crazy right there. Oh, it's crazy as hell, man. Good stuff from uh, Mugi gonna get the knockdown. I see. Oh, what 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 the hell happened? And the 2D again, man. And just like this, Garuja should be able to take this round. No, it drops it! But it's still okay. It's still okay, it's still okay. 
Okay, Scrooge needs this one as well if he wants to even the tides. That being said, Mugi with the onslaught, forcing Garuda to wake up with the DP. Ah, and that backdash for uh, Mugi definitely been working wonders for him. Ah, nice kick pressure right there for Mugi, he gets the knockdown. And again with the wake up 2D from Garuda, man, it's been working so good for him. He's not going for the overdrive. Ah, ah this is going to be a, a punish, yeah. Or not. Ah! Iron Book here! Ah, uh, yeah. Mugi getting hit by everything under the sun after the uh, the after the overdrive. This is unfortunate for him. Ruja not going for side switch. Being very patient, man. And Mugi as well. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Back to the neutral. Mugi uh, getting hit by the side switch. Ah, uh, nice Beyblade. And Mugi finds the kill. We are actually going on to tournament point for Mugi. Let's see if Garuja can bring it back. Ah, Mugi trying to go. Oh, and Garuja again with the DP right in the block string. Okay, yeah, Mugi finding the opening. And gets the rake up. Garuja still holding on to his burst. Very nice grab. Oh, and he gets the burst. He gets the burst. He goes for the side switch. Okay, gonna get the juggle. Oh, he's gonna get the wall break too. Holy freaking lord. Good de good, uh, good sequence right there from Garuja. This is actually looking pretty bad. Oh lord, I think he got the back dash. He did catch the back dash. Wait, it's not over, guys. It's not over, guys. It's not over, guys. Oh, no, and the wake up reversal from Garuja. <laughs> that is crazy. Garuja. We're going down to the wires, guys. <laughs> Holy freaking lord. Is this going to go down to the last the last round? That would be crazy. I have no idea what's going on. Anyways, we're going back to the map. This is the final map, by the way, guys. The one who takes this one takes it all. And Mugi catching the back dash from Garuja with the 4S. Going to get the wall break. Good lord. Okay, wall break from Mugi. Not going to kill, though. What is going to be the wake up option? I sense a DP. Or not. Good stuff from Mugi taking the lead. Tournament point once again for Mugi. Oh lord, and the stomp meant to go over the 2S from Garuja. Mugi with the hefty lead. Okay, it's not over till it's over. Oh, Mugi going for the command grab. Goes for another command grab. Go straight for the DP for the overdrive. This is gonna kill. This is gonna kill. And just like this, Moogie with the reverse. Oh no, it's not gonna kill. Oh lord. What is going on? This is the last. This is the last sequence. The last sequence. And here we go with Moogie going for the 2K. And just like this, Moogie is your bro.